Well, hello everyone. <laughs> I love that is one of my favorite favorite videos that came out today. I love it. So it is April Fools. It is April 1st today, April Fools Day, and some of the stuff I've seen is freaking phenomenal. So I will say probably don't trust anything you see today. That was an April Fools trailer, so not real, not real at all, but Awesome, awesome. Hello, spawns. Hello, uh, Dark Fusion. Hello, Alien Royalty. I see you in the chat. And Eva, hello. <laughs> Guys, I, oh, I want that to be true. I want there to be a mode where you play as Hildur and you just have to wait. That's your whole job. You get a cool, like, little intro where you have to tame your locks, you have to build your shop, and then you stop everything and wait for the you have to wait for the players to come and talk to you <laughs> and you're hitting on an island that's like way away from the spawn so no one's ever gonna find you <laughs> i absolutely love that i love 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 that so hopefully you guys are all having a great monday a great april fool's day i absolutely am i'm i always love it so if I see anything in the chat, I'm not going to believe it by default. You guys should know that ahead of time. I generally don't believe you guys anyway, but I will extra not believe you guys today. <laughs> Zero deaths, April Fools. Oh, dude. My plan is not to have any deaths today. So let's jump into this game. That way you guys can see what I see. My, my plan is no deaths today. However, it's been a minute since I've played. I have not played since last Monday when we streamed because No Man's Sky came out for everything except for the Xbox. And I've been playing the No Man's Sky update. So I have any, I don't even think I have any deaths. I don't remember any deaths. I might have played on Tuesday, but even then, I don't think so. I don't think I played on Tuesday. Let's get in here. Let me show you guys what I'm doing here. Oh, yeah, that's allowed. There we go. So boom, boom. Let's jump in, look at the map. I know that uh, Gek will not be able to join us today because he had an Easter weekend. He's been traveling, so Gek is not going to be online today. I don't think Bob is either. Maybe Bob will come on. Maybe uh, maybe Beeblebum will be. I don't think... I think it might be just me and Beeblebum today. Maybe not even Beeblebum. It might just be oh, just us. And that's it. Maybe. But yeah, I know for certain Gek is not, because he's traveling. He told me ahead of time, because I said, Hey, look, dude, I'll do the queen with you if you want, because the queen is freaking hard, and he planned on doing the queen today. And I said, look, I will, I will I'll jump in and help you, dude. And he's like, no, nah, I'm probably not going to do it. He's traveling for Easter, so he's probably not going to... He said, it, more than likely, 99% chance that he's not going to stream today because of travel. So I wouldn't expect a stream from uh, Gek today. Hello, Heather. Uh, hola, Heather, and Silver, um, uh, no, and Silver Mist, Mary Lizzie's in the chat as well. Hello, Mary Lizzie, guys. Follow Mary. Awesome, awesome creator. Doing Conan, are you still doing Conan? Or Conan? Oh, uh, Beebs is not streaming today, Jason. He has a bad headache. Oh, hopefully he's not getting sick. I know he had a headache last week as well, so maybe he's not, he's not feeling well. I know that we had, like, a couple weeks ago, I got, you know, I got covid in my house so it was it was not fun so hopefully he's not getting sick and if he is he's hopefully it's very quick easy doesn't it's not painful today so no no people bum i'm guessing no zane no uh no survival bob so nobody it's just gonna be us i will check over in the chat just to be sure though but i know sometimes they say no i don't plan on to and then they come in anyway so i will definitely check and get in there if they want to join up so we'll see. We'll see if anyone pops in. So I am in the chat. I don't know if they're going to pop in. I'm, I don't expect anyone to. It is a holiday weekend. So we had Easter. Happy Easter to everyone who celebrates. And it's like a weird like No Man's Sky update situation. So I get it. I want to jump in, play some Valheim, and, uh, and see if maybe we can finish off my freaking base. As you can see from my roof... I still, I've been talking about this for like a month. I still have not finished off my uh, my actual inside, my house, my home. So 
I I've meant to to go all uh, dark wood. However, I've only got about half of it dark wood. So you see how this is regular wood over here. But if we come over here, you'll see all of this side. It started. I started replacing it all with dark wood. I haven't done it yet, so I need to finish it off. I've done a like. 30 to 40 percent of my house is already done in dark wood i need to finish it so we're gonna do that we're also gonna probably run around and, and gather materials get some stuff going i need to check on my chickens make sure my chickens are doing okay do they have food i haven't checked them in a week and i don't know if anyone's been playing during this time i don't think so i haven't seen anyone on but i don't know oh yeah we need to check my uh i need to check my what's it called my deaths as well for you guys Delta, quit No Man's Sky. Can you believe it? Oh, man, Alien. I can't. <laughs> I can't. There's no way in heck. Why would... I mean, it would make sense. Go out on top, right? He, he's been winning these speed runs. So you definitely want to quit when you're ahead. Uh, no one can defeat you if you're not playing. So we're good on that. We're good on all this stuff. Okay, we're good. All this is set up now. You'll notice a big difference over here, you guys. So wait, before we go, before we do that, let me show you the deaths because I, I haven't played. I haven't played, so there's no way I died. I mean, unless I died in my sleep, I don't know. But I have I've not been playing, so there's gonna be no death markers, I don't think. Unless I died on Tuesday, but I don't remember playing on Tuesday. That's the thing. I don't remember playing any on Tuesday. I was playing Dragon's Dogma, <laughs> probably. Um, yeah, nothing here, nothing here. Yeah, I got no death markers, so we haven't died. I have no- there's no additional deaths at all. Yeah, yeah, nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing there. All right, yeah, we're good. Nothing- no death markers whatsoever, so we're all good. Let me put all the markers back on, that way I know where everything is. Anyway. Uh, Mary Lizzy says, Jason, I, uh, once we get my streaming moved uh, down here, Husbeast has got my PS4 PS Plus set back up for three months. Nice. Very awesome. Just trying to find headphones that work with my scuff controller, dude. I found out over, uh, I think two weeks ago that, uh, the PlayStation 5 doesn't do Bluetooth audio. I'm like, what? I have Bluetooth headsets, but nope. Can't use Bluetooth audio on a PS5. That's kind of, they need to fix that because... I mean, I like the PlayStation headphones. I'm not spending money on that when I have like three pairs of Bluetooth headphones. What the crap? Why? Anyway, <laughs> so that was my complaint. I was so mad about that. Guess what? April's fools on you. <laughs> Thank you, alien. <laughs> uh, found a bug. Oh, Streamlabs. We're not playing uh, No Man's Sky today, Streamlabs. You need to chill out with that bugs. So if you did find a bug with uh, No Man's Sky, including the Xbox version is not out yet, I would gently remind them on uh, the Zen desk. Hey, you know, you guys haven't done the uh, Xbox version yet. Maybe you should release that, please. All right, let's let's uh, let's get that out of here. We don't need that going. Had that left over from Friday. Thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. We're all good on the markers. Done and done and done. So that one shouldn't pop up anymore. Anyway, so let me show you guys what I did, uh, I think on either Monday night or Tuesday, maybe Monday night. I actually made a kitchen. So this is like, well, kitchen slash, like, barbecue area, my gazebo. If you guys remember, this table was actually in the center right here. I moved it over, I put some food down on it, so now it's a welcoming table. And then I made my grilling area. So this is where my ovens are, because I... I hated the broken wall. I know Gek liked it, but I felt like it was like a weird, like, why is there a broken wall here? And my oven was kind of aimed the wrong way. It was kind of just stuck in a corner. So I wanted to build like a cooking area. So I have my two ovens, that way I can cook. I have my meat boxes, or my, uh, my boxes for food, so I have my sides in there. It's totally full because I have too much food. I also got my meat in here, <laughs> so I have Lox pies, I got chicken, I got mist hair, like rabbit. Oh man, it's good. I also have my butcher's table right here. I like it. And then I have my cooking station. So if I ever need to cook anything, there we go. And I made it in dark wood. That way I didn't have to rebuild it in uh, dark wood later on. So it's in dark wood. I love it. So it's like my cool grilling area. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Yeah, and again, I moved my table over here. Made sure to move everything with it. But yeah, so I moved it over a little bit. The uh, the portal hub is over here still. 
So I left it how it was. I did change the trophy. So the queen, I replaced it. I don't want to move the queen's head because the queen trophy is too cool where it is. So instead, I put a soldier trophy up there. So soldier trophy above the queen. If we beat the queen again, which I doubt is going to happen. But if we do and I get a trophy out of it, I'll put a trophy in there if I have two. But guys, the trophy looks way too cool over here in my... Uh, in my building area, my uh, armory. I love, look at this. The queen head over the Galder table. It is so good. The glow from the Galder table lights up her, it's so freaking good. You can't, I don't want to move it. So I'm, that's why we're keeping the queen there. <laughs> it looks just too cool. Anyway, looking good, Jason. Thank you, Todd. I did, it wasn't, it wasn't a, I took a lot of inspiration from Beeblebum because once I found out like, I, I don't know if you guys were watching last week, but once I found out that you can put the tables or you can put stuff inside of the uh, stone, like I have my uh, stone cutter in the t in the floor right there. Once I found that out, I was like, dude, I can probably, I can do some cool stuff with it. So I put the, uh, the butcher's table in there. It's hard to line it up, but you can do it. And I also put the chest. That's just a re or that's just a black metal chest inside of stone. And you basically, you purposely lower the stone just a little bit because if you just put a regular stone there, like, let me show you how big a regular stone would be. If you put a regular stone, look how tall it is normally. So that's how tall it is normally. It's just like that much taller, but it totally covers the box. So you got to lower it. So I literally had to pick down in the ground, lower the ground just a little bit, then put my, it was, yeah. I had to line up my stone. It was terrible, but we got it done. And so it looks really, really nice and clean. Same thing for the butcher's table. If you just put the stone straight up on there, it'll actually just be above the butcher's table. So if like that, so the knife will stick out as you can see, oh, wait a minute, er, the knife will stick out, but nothing else will because the knife is higher off the, the table. So I had to lower it. So it looks like there's a cutting board. It, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, Jason is finally glitch building just a little bit. Now that I know how easy it is, at least for Valheim, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So, all that being said, we have, I think we have tar. Let me look. Do we have tar? Um, we have 100, 250, 289, 289 tar. That should be enough to finish off our house. I'm not positive on that. We have a ton of wood. A ton of wood. So we sh we have plenty of wood. I just don't know about the tar. Tar should be good to go. So I need to also... I've learned a new technique for building the side panels on the, uh, on the black uh, or the dark wood. So you see, Beeblebum taught me how to layer the uh, side panels so now it doesn't cover the dark wood like that. That's beautiful. I love that. That looks nice and clean and crisp. So I like that, having the, the dark wood stick out. So we're going to do that as well. So I'm going to need to... Yeah, see, it. you notice how if you just put it through the side, it pops up through because it sucks. But you can put dark wood down there and then underneath it put in the side panels. I don't know why they didn't do the side panels. Like, literally give us... These wooden walls, but dark wood walls. Why not? Why not have dark wood walls? It kills me. Kills me. I hear Heather is quitting No Man's Sky. No one's quitting No Man's Sky. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm sure there's somebody crazy out there who is like, ship uh, customization. Ah, they quit. But I doubt it. <laughs> Even those people who are mad about it, they're like, actually, it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> they're not going to say it's great or anything, but it's okay. Anyway, oh yeah, we probably need to get some wood. We also need to get some black tar. Not black tar, just regular tar. <laughs> We're not doing drugs here, not today. All right. Oh my God, tar takes a, oof, it's a heavy, heavy thing here. All right. Well, I'll do a stack of 50 because I need wood as well. Oh God. So we do another, let's do 25, let's do 75 each. Can that work? Oh, wait. Er, that would... I mean, we still have a little bit of weight left over, but ah, eh, that's fine. It should be good enough. 
Uh, Reg says, I know you're not playing No Man's Sky, but I found a tiny white sentinel today and have glyphs and numbers. Dude! Reg, if you're in the Discord, there's a literal a, uh, a page dedicated to uh, No Man's Sky finds. If you find a cool pet, a cool planet, a cool ship, you can post it there. Post a screenshot with that stuff. April Fools! <laughs> Hello, alien. Yes. Uh, but yeah, definitely, if you have any ship finds, any ship pieces, like if you're looking for parts, you can always post it over there. Always, always do that, because then everyone else can find it as well. So we're going to take this off. And that'll give us some wood back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put in our black uh, dark wood, whatever you want to call it. Dark wood. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute. I have an overhang. Oh. That actually looks pretty good. All right, we'll do this. But we're gonna need uh, an over. Oh yeah, wait, Earth. Before I do that, how you do it is how you layer it down. Just one is you get some core wood. Core wood can do it. So I think we only need ten core wood. If you build core wood, core wood has an upper and a lower connector point. So all you have to do is put in some core wood and then you can connect it down below. It's like if we don't want it to do that, it snaps automatically over the top. You don't want that. That looks nasty. But what you can do is you can, if you put in some core wood right there. And now what we have to do is connect the roof piece to the core wood right like that. Oh, but it's going underneath my other one. Son of a... See, that's the bad line. Did that work? That works to a certain point, I guess. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it snaps together the way I'm hoping it does. There we go. There we go. That actually looks pretty good. And then you just get rid of the core wood. And now, uh, it's still kind of coming through the roof, but not really. It's kind of coming through the roof. So there's a little bit of a, a texture between uh, on the roof, which kind of sucks. But it's way better than it used to be. There we go that. There we go. See, now it's all... Oh, that, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I like it. And we got to get rid of this other old wall that we're not going to use anymore. So, boom. Yeah, see, we don't need any of that. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. Why is the stuff breaking? Oh, did I break? Oh, no. Did I break stuff on the inside? I have stuff on my walls in here. Oh, dang it. I broke my banner. Son of a... That's all right. We'll get there. We'll, we'll fix it up. <laughs> Crap. I forgot my banner's on my wall. Son of a... I'm not a big fan of the uh, station changes. Dark Fusion, I like them. I really do. I like them a lot. I know that somebody, uh, I've, some people have had a complaint that the uh, the landing pad is now way too big. It's like the uh, like the space anomaly. You get, if you get really good parking, it's awesome. But if you get way on the edge, it's like, oh my god, now I gotta walk ten minutes to get over to the stuff. Why is the parking so bad now? And I. And I get that. I get that. It's irritating when they put you in the like the farthest spot, the uh, landing pad, and you're like, "Son of a, why? Why do you hate me, game?" So I get that part. That's a that's a legitimate like. Ah, oh, they need to find a better solution. Like, it should be by default. If there's no other ships in the station, you should get the first one right next to the shops. And then if there's no room, of course you. But it should be automatically. Right next to this, the uh, the shops, and then it moves up depending on if there's uh, landed uh, ships in there or not. That's how it should be. I don't know why they haven't done that, but it's kind of annoying. Here we go. Give me, give me that one. Snap in there. There we go. We don't need that. We need this. And then, boom. All right. And we got some stuff up there. We need to go collect that wood on the roof. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. All 
Oh, it's not going to line up, is it? It's not going to line up. My dark wood is off by like a, a meter. It's always off by like a meter. Oh my God. Why can't I get short? Yeah, look at it. It's going to be too far. It's going to be too far. Can I just line it up in here? I do this. Oh God. Now, how do I line this up? I can't. There is no lining it up. It's just going to edge over the top. Son of a... Harder to just uh, get to the shops. Yeah, it is. It is. Even in No Man's Sky, you had to get your steps. And well, that is true, uh, Eric. And harder to get to the shop. Well, I mean, I think it's harder right now because we're not used to it. I think it's harder right now because we're not used to it. Had a little hiccup with OBS. Come on, OBS. Don't be like that. Why you got to be like that, OBS? Uh, no, it's more realistic like this, the landing pads, but yeah, what you say it would be great. I mean, it would be, Herman. It would be if, like, if you had a preferred, like, A, if the, if the station is empty, you're going to park closest. Because, I mean, I know I I do. Oh, come on. Don't be an a-hole. Don't be an a-hole, uh, Streamlabs. Give me a second, you guys. I'm having problems here. Give me one second. I'll be right back. So, what I've noticed is, every once in a while, and I think it's my graphics card. I'm not positive on that. I want to test it out. But every once in a while, I'll start OBS, and there's a little bit of a hiccup, and it goes. But it has weird drops. And if I just restart OBS... Oh my god! No, never mind! Never mind. Come on, OBS. Don't jerk around with me today. <laughs> I wish it was a prank. I wish it was a prank. So, the other thing I will say is that we had a good week last week with no problems. I realized about halfway through the week last week... The reason why we didn't have any problems? Spring break. No one was at school last week. And I have a school that is like about a mile away from me. And I think because I'm I'm farther out in the country, I think we're all on the same line. I think everyone in the in the area, because you can have a good amount of people on one like, you know, internet line, a node. So I think we're all sharing the same line. And spring break happened. Man, internet's awesome. The school's back in session today for April Fool's and... <laughs> so hopefully... It holds. We're gonna find out. I might need to go and uh, just... I might just start digging in my backyard. I'll dig a trench. I'll do the whole... I'll do it. Like, look, guys. I will lay the lines for you. Just please give me some fiber optics, dang it. Because, uh, you guys are killing me with this BS. Anyway. Let's sleep. That way I can see what I'm doing. Would say they are April fooling you, but it's been many, many times already. I know, Midnight. It's my internet provider. They suck. So, uh, it's literally just, hey. You, uh, we set up to this speed. So, some days you'll get it. Some days you're gonna get, like, dial-up. It depends on how we feel. <laughs> You know, but in the contract, because uh, America is awesome, it's up to, up to, not guaranteed. Hey, you, you pay for this and we're going to make sure you get it. No, 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 no. We don't do that here. It is literally, if you, we decide you get it, that's when you do. But if not, if we feel like today's a busy day, uh, go pound sand, Jason. <laughs> go, uh, go handle your business, you know, some other way. Cause it's not happening today. All right. Hey, Heyman, or Herman. Sorry, Heyman. I got that uh, name stuck in my head for the past couple of weekends. Uh, yeah, still uh, wanting for fiber my side. Dude, James, I can't wait. The fiber is in my area, but they're not on my side of town yet. So, oh, they said, oh, don't worry, Jason. We'll be in your neck of the woods. We'll be over in your area like in 2025 or 2026. And it's like, all right, so I got to wait a couple more years probably. Awesome. Thank you. That's great couple more years before I can get good internet. Really awesome. I love it. Anyway. More complaining. Sorry. Let's get rid of some of this. Let's see if I can do this. Is 
that it? No, it's not lined up. Ah, oh, yeah, it's the the freaking. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get rid of the, the walls as well, or the roof as well, and we're gonna slap in some good shingle roofs. There we go. There. And now we can line up the dark wood on the the roof, the shingle roof. Because we're not going to do any of the side skirts on the uh, on the sides of our uh, of our house, so I don't need it to be on there. Come on, right there. You are beautiful. I'm gonna have a lot of core wood left over because I'm replacing a lot of this core wood with uh, bla uh, dark. I keep calling it black, dark wood, black wood, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Oh yeah, just dropping frames like crazy. Yeah, I'm going in and out, in and out. Awesome! As for, I guarantee you, it's because uh, school's in session. That's why I don't stream ever. Internet in my area sucks bad, and I always get choppy. Dude, Keith, I'm at the point now where... I mean, I might need to stream at, like, one megabyte uploads, which is, like, 480p. <laughs> uh, 2030 still waiting. Dude, don't say that, Reg. Don't say that! <laughs> Uh, cause they would do it. They would do it. Uh, boom. Boom. There we go. Alright, so that should look good. Let's replace this one. Come on, right there. Beautiful and beautiful. So there we are. That looks good. We replaced that. And looking at it, it's all green. Yes, because it's supported by the wall. That's another reason why I did that, so I can support all this stuff. Um, oh, look at this. It's going to be... Um... See, this is the part I ran into because I was, I was like, oh, no. If I get rid of this section, I'm still going to have... Because if I replace it... With the black, uh, the dark wood, it goes too far. It goes too far in. Um, is there a way? Yeah, see, look at it. It's, it's clipping in. Hmm. You know what? We'll do it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens if we do it. Let's just get, uh, some of this black, uh, wood in here. There we go. So I think... It might be too... It might be too small of an opening. We'll, we'll find out. It might be big enough. That's fine. So now we have to get rid of the inside roof. My interior roof. We don't need this anymore. Chickens are laying a whole bunch of eggs over there. There we go. Give me all this. Fiber internet has been paid by taxes, yet internet is horrid everywhere unless you live in a huge city, dude. All the ins and outs and the uh, the BS, dude. I've ripped my hair out, obviously. Trying to figure out how in the hell, why is everything so complicated? And it literally comes down to... Well, because business sucks and they're greedy. All right, we need to put some more uh, stabilizers in here. So what we're going to do is put them in here. That's what we'll do. So these should act like the, uh, the, the, uh, the bars I have here for the uh, core wood. There it is. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that actually almost lined up beautifully. Okay, I'm liking this. Okay, it worked out better than I thought. I thought it was going to look kind of kind of clunky, but it doesn't. There we go. Beautiful. That actually looks really, really good. I got some exposed beam work. I like it. And we have that up there. Beautiful. 
So then the next thing is we're going to replace these structural beams with the long dark wood beams. Oh, you can't rotate the beam so it just looks like a black beam instead of the cool design on the side. Man, oh crap. Oh, man. Oh, well, you know what? That'll still work, though. Come on, move out of the way. There we go. There it is. So you can see it from the side, I guess. And look at that. You have a top and a bottom snap on the freaking, uh, what's it called? On that, uh, core wood. I hate it. I'm three miles from Cantor, in the center of town, and I still have nothing available. I have to use cellular modems. Oh, God. I see it. Thankfully, I have internet, you know, and I have high-speed internet. It's just not stable high-speed internet. Depending on the time of day, if everyone's at home using it, because I'm on one node with like a million people around, it just doesn't work. And you're like, well, why? <laughs> Here we go. We're going to replace these stabilizing beams. There we go. All right. That looks good. That looks good. So we have that side completed now. And I got a little bit of a yellow, so that's not good. That's not ideal, but I'll take it. I mean, we could probably replace these windows. So let me get my, um, are you serious? Can I do a long pull? I guess we're doing a long pull. Well, son of a gun. Cause I don't want it to have a gap, but I also don't want to put two of them in there. Oh wait, not a oh, long one. I mean, I guess that looks good. It's a good window. You can just jump through. That's a big window. I like it. I right, oh, got a piece of wood just sticking out. That's looking good. Oh yeah, we gotta collect all that wood off the roof now. <laughs> ISPs took the money and ran. Oh dude, I'm 100. percent I don't even doubt it. Cause I've I've talked to some people who uh, used to work for the ISP that I use, and they said, look, Jason. They laid down the lines back in the 80s and the 90s, and they've never messed with it since. So all the stuff is, like, really old. The only time they replace it is if it actually breaks, like if someone cuts a line. So you probably are dealing with lines that are super old. They are overfilling the nodes, so they have, like, a neighborhood on one node, one whatever you want to call it. And when there's too many people in the neighborhood, they might add another node and kind of separate it out. So that way there's not as much load onto one single line, but not always. <laughs> so that's probably what I'm running into is that there's too many people. Everyone moved into the uh, neighborhood. We've had a few more houses built. And so now the line is overloaded. It's at max capacity. And so on a heavy day when everyone's on there uh, watching Netflix or whatever, everyone's signal just goes down the toilet. Alright, we got that done. God. I think I need to do this. I don't wanna. But I think I need to. Get rid of this. That's gonna be oof. That's yeah, that's not feeling good. Now, let's add in another beam. There it is. So that'll stabilize that one a little bit. It looks like it's not touching. Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely put in a pole there. But we also need one over here. So what we're going to do is... Oh, not that one. This one. I think that should be the center. So this pole should line up like this. Yeah, that looks like it's okay. So that, let's stable that. Okay. But then there's going to be a weird gap right here. Mmm, I hate it. I'm, I'm replacing different parts. Like, look at this. This is a 45. 
That's a th that's a 45. This is a 26, so it looks different. I wanted to make my roof a little bit higher, and because of that, I'm screwing up all my dimensions. Crap. You know what? We're good. We're good. We're good. ISPs took the money in. Yep, exactly. Uh, outdated before they're even used. Yep. 100%. Well, to be fair to them, they just basically, they took the lines that were meant for cable TV and they turned it into cable and internet because they're like, oh yeah, our lines can handle a whole bunch of, in, you know, all this stuff. And we have new uh, software that can blah, blah, blah. And so they're doing that and they're trying to be as cheap as possible. The problem is they're not passing on those savings to people. Like if, if they said, hey, look, Jason, your internet is super cheap. It's just not going to be stable because we have old lines. Okay. Up front, if you're charging me cheap prices and I still get basically the same price, you know, speed, it's just not very stable. I won't like it, but at least I'll know. No, no, no. They don't tell you any of that stuff. They just say, oh, yeah, we have the best internet ever. And you can't go anywhere else because no one else has high speed internet because we have an unofficial monopoly. But don't worry about it. We're good. And then you're like, no, you're not. You suck. <laughs> uh, and. You don't get charged me cheaper prices. <laughs> I can go get fiber for less than half the price, but fiber is not available. And that's the problem. If it's not available, I can't buy it. <laughs> I wish I wish. Anyway, oh man, I'm complaining a lot today. Sorry, guys. I am complaining a lot today. I'm going to try to back that off and finish off this cool roof we're making. Oh, yeah. We got to put our... Uh, yeah, see, we didn't replace the side over here. Oh, crap. Well, hopefully that stabilizer holds on for a little bit. Let's do this. We got to replace all of that with dark wood. What the? What did I do this for? I don't even understand why that's here. Let's get rid of these. I think I was doing this to block over. Yeah, okay. I was doing it to block the uh, the wood sticking out. But, ah, we're okay. We don't need it. Let's grab all the wood. Uh, should be some government department to complain to. In Texas, the PUC, the Public Utility Commission, regulate the ISPs as it does electricity. Oh, I wish, John. I wish. It's not universal. Not every state has it. I mean, we might have it here. But at the same time, the, the way they get around it, and it's very, very... <laughs> the way they do it, is they're not technically a monopoly because there are other internet providers. But... You can either get dial up like 56k modem style internet or you can get high speed internet. So it's like, yeah, it's a choice technically, technically, but it's not really a choice. I mean, come on, really? That's what you're going to go with? Like, oh, you could totally go get dial up. I don't know why you're complaining, Jason. Like, oh, well, maybe because I don't want dial up. That's what that's the problem, man. Uh-oh, my, my roof is off. What? Wait a minute. How is my roof off? How? Hmm. Let's get up here. How is my roof? It's off by half a meter. Son of my God. This game makes it so complicated. Half a meter we're wrong on everything. There we go. That should be almost where it needs to be. There it goes. And then... Nope, it's not. Son of a god. <laughs> ah! All right. They absolutely distribute the uh, market in the complex I used to live in. Only Cox was... Up That's how it is. That's how it is, Alvar uh, Alvaro. Alvaro. It's literally... If depending on which side of town you're on, you can either get one company or the other for high speed internet. Now they get around the whole, they're not the only internet provider by having the other company. Like if company A has high speed internet in my neighborhood, company B has dial up. And then you go to another neighborhood, company B will have high speed and company A will have dial up. And they have like an unofficial agreement of, We'll never offer high speed internet in this neighborhood. So you can always, you have your goods, you have your lock. Basically, you don't have to worry about it. We'll never offer high speed. Now that is kind of getting broken up because now we have new companies offering fiber, which is a whole new thing. 
And so now, magically, the company I use is fixing their lines, they're adding more speed. Magically! You know, after 20, 30 years of offering the same thing and just jacking up prices over and over again, now they can go through and fix the lines, though, because there's a new... I think there's like two or three new companies coming in offering fiber. And it's like, hmm, man, oof. Competition, co competition is a hell of a drug. Anyway. <laughs> I keep trying to stop complaining, but man, I just keep doing it. Oh no! I got rid of my, my uh, support beam, son of a- No! <laughs> okay, stop. Thank you. <laughs> I got rid of the support beam, so it was just floating. That's why I did that. All right. Okay, so it needs to go higher by one. So what we're gonna do is... We're gonna add in a, a log here. And then we're going to snap the beams to this log. So... Oh, come on. We're gonna glitch build a little bit here. We gotta snap it to that beam. There you go! That's what we're looking for. Oh, kind of. It might be too high. Alright, it might be too high. Let's lower it just a little bit. Let's see if we can get another snap. Snap it down. Not the top. The... Auto? That's too high. Snap it down. Let me let me snap this one. Let me break that one off. Alright. Snap it down. Like right there. Oh, that's where it was. Crap. Okay, maybe this beam is throwing it off here. So let's do this. We have that one. Top. Is that it? No, that's uh, that's too low, isn't it? I think it needs to go to the top. I think it does need to go higher. Okay, like that. I think it does need to go that high. Son of a gun. All right. He's just go up by half a meter. There we go. I think. I think. The angle's not right, though. God, how did I... This one snapped so well, because it snapped right to the roof. And this one's not so much. It's too low if it snaps to the roof. All right. Come on. Yeah, see, it's too far in. How do I go over by a half a meter? Because I just need to... Look at it. I just need, like, that much. Anyway. Maybe Todd Long. Todd says, Is this the episode Jason destroys everything and starts over from scratch? No. No! I'm trying to uh, glitch build around my mistakes. That way no one can see my mistakes. That's what the goal is right now. <laughs> I'm trying to basically make it look decent without actually working and, and rebuilding everything from the ground up. So I'm gonna have to replace all these core wood beams with uh, dark wood. I need a drink. I need a drink. Uh, Mary Lizzie says, Youngest moved into a brand new, just finished apartment. The apartment complex has a contract with Mediacom and can't have anything else. Yep, that's what they do. That's what they do. So I am happy that now fiber is being offered in my neighborhood. I live in a home. I live in a house, an actual house, not an apartment complex. And so in an apartment complex, I'm sure they can sign a contract and have only one company there because, you know, they're scumbags. But in a house in my neighborhood, they have lines for one company. And so one company has high-speed internet. I can get... I call it dial-up. I, I think it's like... Because right now I have gigabit up, one gigabit or one gigabit down and 40 megabytes up which is they're limiting my uploads i hate that but if i want any other package it go, it drops down to 25 megabytes down and i think it's like three megabytes up which is not enough to stream three megabytes up is like if you're trying to do content creation it's nothing it's like getting a, a ferrari 
but you can only go 15 miles an hour. It's like, what? Why? <laughs> That's what it feels like. Why would you even do it then? Uh, so I have to go with the crappy company that sucks because they have the best upload or the best speed. Now, there are fiber companies moving in, but they haven't laid down the lines yet. And that's the problem is I'm waiting for them to lay down the lines. As soon as they do, I will be number one in line to get that service. 100%. And then, magically, my current provider will fix all the lines and all the problems they have because the new company's here. <laughs> yep, sounds like cable. That's exactly what it is, Legendary. So... I've been talking to, I have family that lives on the north side of town where they're laying the fiber down. And so they started at the north side of town, probably because in Colorado Springs, the north side is like the more wealthy side of town. That's where all the high end houses and everything are. So, of course, you start with the rich people. But I have some family that lives closer up north. And they said magically, because they have the same internet provider I have and they deal with the same problems I have. Magically, last year when they started laying down the fiber lines, cable company came through and said, Hey, we're just letting you know. We're working on the lines. We're going to improve all your speeds and stability for free. You don't have to pay us any extra. We're going to fix it all. And we're, they're like, why? Because they didn't know the fiber companies were coming in. And so all of a sudden, magically, their internet got fixed only when the company, the fiber companies were coming into the neighborhood. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. Wow, okay. So once the fiber companies move into my neighborhood, <laughs> all of a sudden my internet's going to work magically well. This will be the best internet ever. You know, because, you know, they're just waiting for it. They're waiting on it. All right, so we need to go by half a meter over. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a core wood because core wood has two snapping points. And if we put down a core wood, I don't know, get out of there. On the roof, we should be able to snap the dark wood on either side of it, I hope. If we can get it. So let's see, snapping, snapping. Come on. Is it just top and bottom? Oh, it might be just top and bottom. Son of a... What if I put a dark? What if I put another core wood next to it? Can I snap it on there? Cause I just need it moved over like half a meter. I need it right there. I need it almost there, just a little bit lower. So is it? Do I do this then? I'm trying to glitch build, and I'm not as good as Beeble Bum is, you guys. So, forgive me. I suck just a bit. You know what? We're going to manually place it. Screw it! We're going to manually place this dang thing. So, what we're going to do is manually snap it. Right there. And then we can just connect everything together with that one. That way it'll look like it's connected, but it's a manual snapping point. There we go. And there we go. So that should line up. Let's check it. That should line up with the roof line, but also not be exactly centered. Oh no! Did I mess that one up? I did. Okay, I messed this one up. I snapped it to the wrong snap. All right. Snap it on that one. On this. Right here. Yeah, there you go. There we go. So that's what I... Uh, you know what? Good enough. Good enough! Good enough. <laughs> that looks so bad. You'll never see it, though, because I'm never on my roof, so you'll never know. I mean, technically, it looks the same as this one. Needs a camera mode like... Oh, dude, John, 100%. I would love for them to add in a camera mode. So you don't have to jump your character all over the place trying to get back to where you were. <laughs> I would love that. There are a lot of cool features I would love for them to add. A camera mode, number one. 
Number two, let me upgrade my uh, let me upgrade my inventory. Like, give me a backpack or some kind of a uh, a thing to increase my capacity, because they give you they give you the weight belt that gives you 150 more pounds, but they don't give you any more slots. And the problem is, I spit on my microphone. The problem is, I don't care about the weight. I need more area. I need more slots that way I can carry more items. Like, I might carry a little bit of wood, a little bit of tarp, and then all of a sudden it's like, well, you ran out of room because you don't have enough area. I'm carrying food with me. I'm carrying my weapons, my potions. You have to put your gear in there, and it's like, that takes up, like, three quarters of my slots are just taken up by my gear and my weapons and my food. It's like, oh, God, just give me more slots, man. Let me do more slots. Okay, we're gonna raise this roof, I guess, because it looks like it's not right. And so I'm gonna just raise it up a little bit. All right, so, again, we did this. And then we laid down on the other one, on the other side. Here we go. Why is that not snapping correctly? What the crap is this? There. That works better. Oh, uh, Gek on a holiday, so probably not. Yes, yes. He's on a holiday, and he I think he just got back, like, maybe 30 minutes ago. 45 minutes ago. So he, he said he might get back in time to stream, but he needs to set everything up. So he's like, I'm not even going to do it. By the time I get home, he, he just drove for, like, six hours. He's going to get home right when he was supposed to stream, so he can't even set up a stream. He's like, dude, I'm not even I'm not even messing around with that. I'm just going to go. I'm not going to stream today. All right. That makes sense. I wouldn't, man, because, dude, driving for that long and all and having to deal with all that crap and then coming home and streaming, that's, that doesn't sound fun at all. That sounds like a nightmare. Is there a roof in the... Is there a roof panel in the wall? There is. Look at that. Did I put that on the other side as well? Oh, crap. Is there roof panels in the wall? Let me look. No, not in this one. At least not that I see. All right. So that one worked out. Good, good, good. Let's put another... Oh, God! Why are my roof panels not lining up? I don't understand this. There. Line up. So you gotta do it from the bottom. See? Camera mode would help with this. It really would. Give us the camera mode. Give us a... Uh... Give us a uh, freaking, uh, what's it called? A, uh, a new upgrade for our backpack inventory. That should do it. Help I hurt. Er, gotta grab these. Make sure I have my tar ready to go. Okay, so then we can replace that post like this. Place this one like that. That way it doesn't fall over. Thank you. That roof is a little bit higher, but oh well. No one will know but me and you guys, but don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody what happened here. Oh, is Gigi going against the uh, witch tonight? No, Rosa. No, she's not. He's not uh, showing up today. He was on holiday for Easter. He was uh, traveling for Easter, so he got back. But yeah, he's like, dude, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be streaming today. All right, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. See, so you see the gap on this one right here, and if we go across the way. That's a little bit more of a gap. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more of a gap. It feels like this one is higher.
Yeah, it's definitely higher. So I put this... Uh, oh, I snapped these wrong. Son of a... I snapped him to the wrong thing. I gotta snap it to that one right there. Duh, Jason. There you go. That's what I had to snap it to. There. That should line up now. <laughs> God! The snapping points! See? That looks a lot better, right? That looks a lot better. Not cleaner. It looks exactly like the other side. Because I used the wrong snapping point. There we go. I'm going to have to get down below for this. Now, the reason I put these little... Uh, like roof pieces here is that this stabilizes the top because the uh i didn't use any I, i'm not using any uh iron wood this is all core wood and it's not strong enough to go that high if you use iron wood you can go really really high core wood not so much and so once you get r higher than that it gets really really weak unless you have stabilizers next to it holding up the rest of the roof so that's why I have stabilizers going into walls <laughs> over here on the outside. These are basically stabilizing the top end of the roof. That's what I'm using them for. I could get around that. I could delete these by putting iron wood on the inside. If I make my, uh, my chimney out of iron wood, no problem. It would work just fine. But I don't want to. I want to use dark wood. Because <laughs> I think dark wood looks better. And because it looks better, it's not as strong. Let's get over here. Did I pick up all the extra wood? Here it is. So we got a whole bunch of core wood. Oh my god, look at all the core wood I have. I don't need that much. So let's, let's start putting away some of this core wood. I need to replenish my... Uh, what's it called? My stacks of... Uh, Wood and iron. Oh, yeah, that's for my banner that I destroyed. My regular wood. My tar. There we go. There we go. That should be good. Did you see the trailer on IGN called Spaceship Simulator? I have not, Rosa. I have not. Adventure Backpacks is an awesome mod for Valheim. You should check it out. I know, Spawns, I want to, but the one problem we run into is when you play on a server, everyone has to have the same mods because if I mod my game and I try to connect to the server, the server says, no, 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 no. You can't have a different... It's basically they treat it like a different game because it's modded. And so you'd have to, uh, we'd have to set up the, the actual server to allow them the mods and then... Everyone has to have the same mod. It's like, oh, it's a nightmare. Just don't do it. It's all vanilla. All vanilla. But maybe next year we will do that. I, we, uh, Bob, uh, not Bob. Beeble Bum has talked about maybe adding a couple of mods to make it easier. Or not easier, but more um, quality of life stuff. Like having better backpacks or torches. Things like that. Simple things that don't change the gameplay, but, also, but make it a little bit simplified. That way you don't have to worry about, oh... Every day, I have to go around and light torches. It's like, oh my god. I wish I didn't have to light these torches every time. So I, gotta, I have to go check my torches. All right, right here. Go. Okay. That one is six out of six. It's full. That one's full. Oh, nope. I need five out of five. So I'm going to need to put some stuff in there. So you just have to check your torches constantly. Or they burn out. And you're like, oh, man. Like these ones. These, uh, these torches right here. They're probably getting low. Five out of six. So yeah, just doing that. Have a mod to where you don't have to redo your torches or refill your torches. Once you place it, you're done. All right. So now we need to knock out these walls. And I need to throw up these, but we got to have it. Ooh, actually, you know what? That almost lined up perfectly. Oh, man, look at Jason. Manual snapping worked for my benefit. Snap it. There you go. So, yeah, look at that. Oh, my God. That actually accidentally worked out. See? 
Every once in a while, I accidentally do something correct. <laughs> Every once in a while. Not very often. There we go. We need to add another one. Another one. All right. There we go. And then... I think. Beautiful! Okay, that worked out. Look at Almost. I mean, there's a little bit of glitchiness with the uh, textures, but it looks good. It looks like a good snap. A little bit higher. Like, this roof is not as high. That roof siding. Not as high as that one, but hey, I'll take it. It looks good. And structurally, it's all in the green. That's all that matters. All in the green. Yeah, look at all in the green. Good. Beautiful. Perfect. So we're good. On the inside, it looks good. Nice and clean and beautiful. The dark wood. I love the dark wood. So we're, we definitely will be doing our uh, chimney in dark wood. Like a broken clock. Exactly. James, sometimes it just works out. You know, I, I messed up earlier, but then that mess up actually turned into a benefit because I raised it a little too high, but... It helped me with my snapping of my walls. So, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's good. Okay. So, these little wood planks right here. You see these little wood pieces? Those are the platforms for my boxes right here. So, that's what that is. That's why I had the, uh, the markers out there earlier. My black wood out there earlier. But, what if I just did this? So if I just add in a secondary wall on top of the uh, current one. Oh my god, I'm going to have to redo it by like one meter. Not even one, just a half of one. I just need that just like that much. Just like that much right there. That's where I need it. But it needs to be lined up. See, it's too far away. Enough. I need it over just a hair. Ah, oh, well. We'll figure that out later on. I mostly just want to redo my roof with the dark wood. So we're getting there. We're getting there. It's starting to look good. And I, I also noticed that I don't use these doors. Like, I can just put in an archway. Like, if I wanted to, I could just put, like, an archway like this to go into my house. I was thinking about that because I, I'm constantly opening and leaving these doors open. Same thing for my uh, my shed. Like, look at this. My door is constantly open. I never close it. I never do anything with it. But I feel like it needs a door. So what do you guys think? Should I keep the door or should I put an archway in here? Because I'm constantly leaving the door open anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, it looks cool when it's closed, but I'm just constantly going in and out, in and out. And so I never close the door because I live in a farm, you know. <laughs> oh. Keep it! Alright, James. Maybe we'll do a vote. Maybe we'll do a vote. And see if you guys think we should keep it or not. Did you see the trailer on IGN? Oh, yeah, I did. I uh, mentioned that. I just switched from Cox to Starlink. Only other option was a 12 megabyte DSL. Yep, John, that's where I'm at, too. Then Starlink raised their prices so they were $10 a month more. Oh, F them. That's my problem. So, the, 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 I guess the silver lining is that I am on, because I do this for a job, I stream, I am on the top tier, fastest, whatever tier of internet that is provided in my area. Not the fastest they give. I think I've seen they have packages up to two uh, gigabyte downloads, which is insane. I can't get that in my area. That's not, you know, available. But I have the, the top, top of whatever I can get. And I said, hey, give me the best because I do this for a job and I need the best upload because my internet provider, they cap their uploads at 40 megabytes. They give me one gigabyte downloads, but I only get 40 megabytes upload. And so I, I wanted the upload. 
but because I'm on like the top tier, whatever, amazing uh, internet speed, they don't increase that generally. If you're on the lower tiers, I've seen the packages go up and up, and then I call, I'm like, hey, is mine going up? They're like, no, you're on the top tier. It's probably not going to go up for a while. It probably will eventually, but not yet. It's not so far. However, as soon as I can get fiber, fiber is less than half the price I'm paying, and it's double the speed. So I'm like, dude, I will definitely jump over there. I just hope. And I haven't heard anything bad about it yet. The the fiber provider that's moving into town. We have three of them, I think. We have three different companies doing it. All three of them, all the people who've switched over said they're awesome and that they've had it for over a year. The no price increases, no anything. And it's amazing. I'm like, I hate you. <laughs> I want fiber. Why can't I have it? So as soon as it's available, I will switch over. And if they want to jerk me around with prices, then I'll be like, oh, okay. But by then, maybe my current provider will be fixing their lines because they have competition. So maybe I can switch back and get a better price and <laughs> better internet. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. We're going we're gonna to replace this top roof now. So we need to do this all in dark wood. That's my goal. That's my plan. So I need to replace the core wood with dark wood. Can I just straight up replace it? Like that? Does that work? It's green and it goes into orange. Yeah, you know what? We're going to stick with it. Screw it. We're going to do it. So, let's do this side as well. There we go. So, that's orange. I don't like that it's orange. Why are you orange? You're killing me. All right, let's see if we can get this replaced and not have it fall apart. This is the problem. You get too high and things start getting real weak. So if I go across like this, does that add more support? I'm hoping that adds more support. We're going to find out, though. Uh, snap this on. Like that. It's orange. Let's do quickly, quickly before it breaks. Oh, come on, snap in there, you be. Mm. <laughs> snap on there. No, not that one. This one. There you go. That's what I was looking for. There we go. Why is that orange? They're not getting support below it. Oh, it's not. Okay, that's why. It's not getting support below it because there's nothing there to actually support it. <laughs> That's why. No, no, no. There is. There is. Why are you not snapping? You. It's orange, right? Is it snapped in there? It's on that bar, right? I can see it. It looks like it's in that bar. I'll look in there. So that one is snapped down to this bar right here. It looks like it. Yeah, we're going to go with it. It looks like it. It's good enough. Looks good enough. Oh, that's why I replaced that other side, because this one is too steep. You slide right off of it. Go here. Yes, as soon as fiber was announced, Cox tripled the speed and have the price. Dude, that's what they do. No competition. They don't give a crap. All of a sudden, you might be able to go to a different company. Oh, man, they're your best friends. Oh, don't worry about it, guys. You know what? We're, we're happy to announce that we found a new way to increase your speeds and lower your prices because we are so good. Why didn't you do that a year ago? Why didn't you do that a, two years ago? 
because he didn't have any competition? Man, that's kind of bad. So that should work out here. So, what I'm going to do is let's slap on some roofs. Let's do, let's do a steep one. So we should have a 45. That might be too steep. That might be too steep. Oh my God, my, my camera. No, I don't need bone mass. Oh, well, uh, we're doing, we're going to run bone mass just in case I fall off the roof or whatever. And I don't float. <laughs> uh, there we go. So if we do a 45... That'll allow us to be a little bit steeper. Maybe we'll collect more smoke that way. Oh, I gotta move my body out of the way. Like that. And then we can put our 45 degree cross hatch on here. I hate that there's no dark wood. There are 45? Yeah, there is a 45. See? So I wish I could just do dark wood on this thing. But no, can't do that. And it it goes through it, so you get the texture a little bit, but it looks funky. I hate that. Give me dark wood replacements for everything, not just certain pieces. Never realized Jason was so bitter. I can be, dude. When it comes to my internet, I get real bitter about it because I've been dealing with this for two years now. So, the first year I moved into this house in 2021. Internet, beautiful for a year. It was the the coolest, the best, whatever you want to call it. No issues. You can go back to my streams from 2021. No issues whatsoever. I was like, this is what good internet is supposed to be. I love it. And then, about 2022, early 2022, uh, Switch got flipped. And then magically, my internet sucks. And I'm like, and it drove me crazy. At first, I was like, okay, it can't be my provider because I've had him for a year and I didn't change anything. So it's great. Something's wrong with my computer. I, I replaced wires. I replaced my network card. I replaced routers. I replaced anything you can imagine. I switched all my settings. Anything you could physically do, I have stacks and stacks of ethernet cables. I have a cat five, a cat six, a cat seven. I got all kinds of wires thinking maybe it was my wire. Maybe it was my router. Maybe it... nope. It's the internet that they're providing. <laughs> it's throttled because now a whole bunch of people have moved into the neighborhood, I'm guessing, and they didn't up anything. So they're like, ah, they'll be fine. They don't need real like connection. They just need a little bit. They just need a little, uh, you know, they just need it to be fast sometimes, <laughs> not always, sometimes. Look. Is that too much? Should I go with one or two? I feel like I need two. Oh! Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil! All you have to do is complain a little bit too much and all of a sudden, magically, my internet just, you know, takes a poop. <laughs> and now they cut Jason off! They heard you! I'm sure they are. I'm sure they know. Man, that guy's complaining again. That guy's complaining again. Let me- give me a second, guys. I'm gonna do this again. Let me- let me restart this again. Let's see how long this one lasts. I talk about it and all of a sudden, internet decides to go down, you guys. <laughs> Seriously, without question, without hesitation, no buts about it. When fiber is available in my area, 
I'm going to be on that list immediately. I will go out and I will help the guys dig the ditch to lay the lines to my house. I will. You're going to see me. I'm going to come back with a suntan because I'll be outside digging ditches all day just to make sure that thing gets lined up perfectly. <laughs> That's how it's gonna, I'm going to do, I swear. Because, God, so frustrating. So frustrating when you think it's your fault. I went through everything. I thought it would for sure it has to be my fault. My computer, something happened, my PC or my wire or whatever. And then you go through all of that and then you realize, nope, it's just them. They provide a bad service. All right. <laughs> I will switch to Google. I don't care who fiber. It could be... Jason sucks fiber. I will sign up for it. I don't care. I don't care who it is. F whatever fiber you got, I will take it. <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Jason's a terrible YouTuber. I will sign up for that service immediately. Gotta get rid of these roofs. You could eat another bite. Give me a second. I'm trying to line all this up here. So, if I throw in a 45. That should help stabilize it. Maybe, pause, probably not. And then throw in another cross section on here. Oh, really? You better let me. Oh, I don't want to be on the side of the roof. This is the side I fall off of. Get up there. Get up there. Snap. There you go. And then we'll do another 45. Make sure it's lined up. Then we need another one of these. Come on. Line up before they does before it breaks. Thank you. There. That's feeling pretty good. I don't like the the X's, but it makes it more stable. Now it's not red, it's orange. Two cans and a fiber string. I'll take it if as long as you can tell me it's guaranteed. Like at this point, I would I I would say I would go to my comp my ISP, my internet provider and say, "Look, I know I get 1 gigabyte down. What if you give me 500 megabyte down, 500 up?" And there's never a problem. Never a problem. My internet is up constantly. No issues. No downtime whatsoever. I will cut it in half and pay the same price. I don't care. Give me half the speed. Same price. And I want you to increase the upload. Even if it was a 100 megabyte upload. It's still better than what I have now. Right now I have 40. And I can't even hit that. Like I'm... I'm right now I'm using half of it and I have issues. I have to go down to a quarter of it. <laughs> I, I usually stream at 20 megabytes up because I'm streaming at 1440p. You need a higher upload. I, I probably need to go back down to 10 or 5 to get stable internet. At that point, though, what why am I paying extra for this price point if I can't use the full speed you're giving me? I don't know if this actually does anything other than adding more weight to it and making it look good, probably. Let's do this. Got to get my cross beam here. Make sure it's straight. There it goes. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's just replace this one side. We've already done half. So let's just go. Let's just keep going half. I'm trying to do both sides because then I won't have to mess with the other end. But, you know.
Oh, there's my chimney right here. I do like that. That actually looks pretty good. That's a pretty cool looking chimney. Gotta say. Business account. Brother gets 200, 200 business through a Comcast. Yeah. Midnight. The thing, though, is business costs like twice as much. Twice as much. And so maybe I'll look into it. The, the other problem is I've talked to some people with business accounts. It's not any better. You, they're, you're charged more for the same service. You get a little bit higher upload, but you still have outages. You still have all these issues. So a lot of people, they said, look, if you want it, just go residential because there's no difference. You get a little bit more, you get a little bit better upload speed, but you still have outages, you still have problems. The lines, they use the same terrible lines that have been there since the 1980s. So it's not like they have better lines for business. No, they're just charging you a package because you get some benefits of that. <laughs> more here three times. Catching my first stream. What game is this? Oh, John C. This is Valheim. It's a Viking survival game and we are building our main house, our main, or well, we're renovating our main house. So I did build my, uh, originally I built my main base with like the beginner parts, the beginning wood. So it looks like a thatch roof, things like that. And so now we're going to go through with some more, um, more advanced materials and we're going to replace it with what's called dark wood. So it looks like that. I like this look a lot better. So we're just slowly replacing all the older parts with the newer parts. That's what we're doing right now. But I mean, yeah, I have my main base here with all my cooking stuff. I love it. It's so cool. If you're into building, it's a little bit, you have to get used to it. There's no build camera. You have to look at what you're doing. Your character has to be there. So it's kind of a, a pain for me. I wish they had a build camera that I can use to kind of go around and like pull the camera away and look around. They don't let you do that. But I'm liking... Everything so far here. Everything's matching up pretty well. There are some things that don't line up perfectly with the new dark wood, but hey, we'll build around it. We'll add and we'll adjust a little bit here and there. But I mean, it looks pretty good on the inside. We're going to replace this chimney with dark wood. I got wood all over my house because I've been destroying the roof. Renovations, man. They suck. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, we're going to go to sleep. That way, I don't have to worry about nighttime. It's really hard to see at night. Uh, Midnight says, ah, he only pays 25% more, and he gets a higher data priority to go with it. Uh, maybe I'll look at that. I will look into that midnight. Maybe I'll look into that. Everyone I've talked to, they just said, everyone I've talked to that has experience. I mean, when I say everyone, it's like three people. Three people who have business internet with the same company I have. They just said, look, dude, I mean, it's awesome having the upload and stuff like that. But when the Internet goes down because they have a, a, a business and they have the residential, when the residential goes down, business that usually does as well. And so it's not like you're preventing anything. You're just getting a little bit more um, preference. <laughs> but when everyone's losing, you're a part of that everyone. Oh yeah, let's get up here. Gotta go check the roof. Oh, of course, it's foggy today. Can't see anything. What was that? That's snap on. Oh, it's snapping on this one. I was like, how did that snap up top? I can make a double layer. It's because it's snapping to this uh, core wood over here. That's why. All right, we're going to replace this one with another dark wood. Here we go. Oh, that needs to go down below. Ah, it's because of the chimney right here. But if I knock this one out the other side of the roof, ah, screw it. I got to get this. I got to get that lined up, right? So this is what we got to do. Out there. There you go. Because core wood, I love core wood, but... The snapping points on core wood are so frustrating for me. I hate that there's two separate ones. There's above and below because it's a thicker piece of wood. And it just, you, if you miss, if you miss the uh, snapping point, you're just screwed. 
because, you know, <laughs> you, you missed the snapping point and you're like, crap, I'm using the wrong snap. All right, we need to just, how much wood do I have here? We need to get some more core. We're going to make the tar roof at least so I can stand on it. We're going to find out if I can do that. If I'm smart enough to do this. So we'll do this. Put some of this core wood away. Ah, screw it. We'll put all of it away. Just because I don't think I'm going to need it yet. We need some more tar. There we go. Each ISP state is different. That is true. That is true. So that's the problem that I have with a lot of this stuff is... One state might have rules and regulations because the state passed a law and another state just says, ah, we don't need that. And they don't do it. And so the company is allowed to be a jerk in one state, but they are not allowed to be a jerk in another state. And you're like, well, hopefully you're not in the uh, jerk state or else good luck. <laughs> and that's the problem. I wish there was a universal like these are the rules. You can't mess around with this. If you tell a customer you have this speed. That is the guaranteed speed. That's not a up to speed. That is a you will get this or else you don't have to pay. <laughs> because you get what you pay for. Dang it. All right, let's do. So let's do this. Oh, don't kick, you dummy. Knock off the roof on the top. We'll knock off the top bar right here. See this thing? There we go. So we need to knock out this, but we also need to replace it really fast. That way the other wood doesn't fall over on it. There we go. Boom. Boom. Good. Good, good, good. So we're just replacing all our braces, all of our supports with the dark wood. And in this game, there is weight. So you can't put like, a, you can't make something really tall. You see how it's turning red? That means it's not supported and it's starting to get a lot of stress on it. So we need to start uh, replacing a lot of these parts with uh, stronger pieces like this. Here we go. There we go. See? Looking good. Looking beautiful. Oh, God. So you keep sliding. Pick up all this wood I just knocked out of the roof. <laughs> I like how it landed in the fire, but it's not on fire. I just need to collect it. There we go. Now, the, the bonus of this is... I can jump easily up on this roof because it's really, really, you know, steep. It's just you can't stand on it. You can jump on it, but you can't stand on it. So I'm replacing all of this with the, uh, the more, uh, the less. Oh, I need to repair my uh, hammer. Oh, crap. Let's repair the hammer real fast. That way I don't run out of hammer juice. Hola, gunboat Willie. Hello. Oh, hang on. Girlfriend said she wants some peace and quiet while cooking supper tonight. Have to go pull the battery out of the fire alarm. <laughs> that is the joke at my house as well, gunboat. And so we have a weird uh, the that the uh, the pitch of our roof is very very narrow, and we have high high ceilings. So basically, there's no attic, there's no flat roof. It's a pitched roof ceiling. And so when we cook. All the smoke goes up to the center of the uh, the pitch, right? It makes sense. The smoke goes up. The uh, geniuses who had our house before us, they put a smoke alarm right at the center of that pitch. And so anytime you cook, if you cook toast in my house, fire alarm goes out or goes off. And it's like, why? Why, why? why would you? All right. I mean, it's safe. If anyone cooks toast, I know it because the fire alarm will go off. <laughs> but yeah, they put it right at the the right at the narrow piece at the top. And so it is like a 15 foot like you got to get a ladder to go up there and change the battery. Thankfully, I said, look, when we moved into this house, I said, replace the battery. I don't want to have to do that for at least a couple years. And so we haven't had to replace it yet. Knock on wood. 
That's when tonight it'll start beeping. I'm going to have to break out a ladder and get up there and replace that damn battery. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, it hasn't started beeping yet. But it will go off every time someone cooks anything. Toast, it's already going off. <laughs> so. Let's do... Come on. Snap. There it is. So here's our roof. I believe that's lined up. I believe that's lined up. All right, good, good, good. So this is the part we got to snap them. Oh god, come on! There we go. There. There we go. Oh, God! Fell in my house. Thank God it didn't fall on the fire. That would drive my dog crazy. Spawns, dude. It does. At this point, though, my dog Charlie has gotten used to it. That way she doesn't go... Because, yeah, when she when she was a puppy, every time, for months, fire alarm would go off because, you know, wife made some toast. Or you were cooking eggs in the morning. And not burning them or anything. It's just, you know, the heat rises. <laughs> it's like, oh, come on! But yeah, Charlie's gotten used to it. So, I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. And <laughs> Charlie knows. Oh, the fire alarm's going off. That just means someone's cooking. Not always. <laughs> Whenever there's an actual fire, I, hopefully my uh, my dog Charlie will actually know. I would assume so, though. Get there. Most times when they go off that easy, and then the sensor is fried. You get a new one, midnight. Yep, that's so annoying. I probably need to go out and get a new one. I just assumed it was the pitch of the roof, the ceiling. I mean, maybe, maybe when the battery finally dies, maybe I'll just replace it with another one just to see. Because I have some replacement fire alarms just in case. So maybe I'll just go up there and, and instead of just doing the battery, I'll just replace a whole unit to see if that changes anything. But it's almost like a rite of passage. Like now I'm used to the fire alarm going off every time I cook. <laughs> oh. No, not that one. This one. Go. There you go. See, this is much easier now. I don't have to keep jumping around on this friggin' roof. You still support? Support? No? How are you not supported? There you go. Now it's orange. Okay. So see, it turns from green. It blue means it's on the ground. So it's it's uh, grounded. So it's the strongest it'll ever be is blue. And then it'll turn green. And then it'll turn yellow. And then it'll turn orange. And then red is basically that thing is going to die. If you put any more things on top of a red part, it will just fall over. Like this. This thing is like at the limit. There we go. Just trying to get a, uh, a good, uh, setup on this. Let me make sure. There we go. Oh, wrong way. There it is. Oh, I'm getting smoked out. Oh, God, I'm dying. Don't do that. And then support on both sides. Come on. There you go. I really like this roof. This roof is good. 
Roof is good. Oh, come on. Don't do that. While I'm up here. Let's do that. Go. Oh, actually, no. Ooh, I, I set it up wrong. See, I'm snapping to the uh, core wood. You don't want to do that. Don't snap to the core wood. Snap to the actual. There you go. Like that. That's what you want to snap to, not the freaking core wood. Um, right there. Now, did that snap correct? Oh, that did. Okay, that looks way better. Way more clean. Compared to the core wood. Got it. All the wood inside here. All the wood just on my rafters everywhere. Alright. Way more clean. Way more nice. So now, I can get rid of this one. And put another one right here. Hey. Snap. Go. There. Beautiful. Jason, build a floor to your roof where you want to stand and you'll you won't fall. Ah! This is where I get in a little bit of trouble, but also the advantage of having the cape. So I have the feather cape, which lets you float anytime you fall off. So I could do that all day. I can literally just jump off whatever I want to. Now, it gets me in trouble when I stream with Heather because I don't have that yet in Heather's uh, in Heather's world. We have not gotten to the Mistlands, so I can't get my feather cape. I can't do this. You, If you watch me uh, stream with Heather, you'll notice I jump a lot more because I'm used to having my feather cape. <laughs> I think the last stream we did, I jumped off a roof and I died because of fall damage because I was like, Oh no, I forgot I don't have my, my cape on, son of a... <laughs> So yeah, that'll get me in trouble a lot because I, you know, I'm used to having a feather cape. So I can just float. So that's why I'm like, yeah, I don't need to build a platform. I just need to get a right angle of uh, me standing there. And I got it. I got it. I built the roof over there, so it should be good enough. Uh, snap on that thing. There you go. And then... Now, I need to check this. Is this the same over here? No, it's not. Okay, so I need to lower these now. So these need to go lower. They need to snap at the edge of the top support. So, let's do this. There you go. And... Can't see the light. All right. And then a cross beam right here. Beautiful. I like it. So now. At the edge of these. Oh, dang it. I need wood and tar. See? This is why you run out of... I might need to go out into the plains to get some more tar and wood because I'm running... I'm running through my tar and my wood real quick. Holy crap. Okay, there we go. Need some more wood. Don't need the, uh, core wood, so we can get rid of that. There we go. Are we playing on Thursday? Dude, that's my plan, Heather, unless you're uh, busy. So it's uh, it's uh, whatever your schedule is, Heather. I am open. I am ready to go on uh, Thursday if you want. Uh, I think we found Motor. 
So we should be pretty good, pretty set for motor. But if you want to do another stream, because we found the, if you guys weren't watching, we found the trader finally in Heather's world. So now we have a trader. So we got our belts. We got all our materials from there. And we just need to go after the mountain boss, which is a big old dragon. So we can do that or we can kind of prepare, get some more materials, farm it up. I know we need a lot of iron still. So we can go to the swamp and do iron. I'm, I'm up for whatever. Whatever you want. I'm good. We'll do whatever. There we go. There we go. And then we need another at the end of here. Oh, uh, we played on Thursday. Nice. Heck yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's been a while since I played some Valheim since last week. <laughs> well, and then, you know, today. Uh, get in here. Come on. Oh, you come on. Get up here. Thank you. I need to put an X on here just for some support. There we go. So that should be good. Yeah. Oh, that's a red one. Oof. That's a red one. Why are you red? Oh, these uh, support beams are red as well. Son of a... Why are you guys red? What is going on here? Okay. Do I have support beams underneath? I probably don't. That's probably why. I got it on this side of that. No, I don't. I have it on the other side too. That's why you need some, uh, you need some iron wood. Iron wood is the, uh, the solution to this problem. Let's get some 45s in here. That one's green. Why are you green? And the other ones are red. I wonder. Is it because I don't have any... It's probably because I don't have it connected. That's probably why. So it does... Uh, yeah, see, now it's turning green because I have it connected with the roofing. All right. Yeah, see, I just don't know how to do it. I'm dumb. Yeah, see, now it's green. So it's green because the roof is now spreading out the weight. Before, all the weight was on top of this thing. Now... If you do this, it'll turn it green. It'll kind of, uh, it'll spread out the weight. So it's not all on one spot. We're not all on one thing. There you go. See, now it's all green. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, no. Ooh, now it's turning red. Ah, that's okay. Let's get this. Oh, God. Door. Let's sleep. You need more support for the ground level? I know, Todd. I need some iron wood. That's probably what I need. I do need to replace the uh, the core wood for my, uh, my uh, what's it called? The chimney. I need to do that for sure. So that will help. So if you don't know what I mean, the, the, the uh, chimney in the center of my house, two things. Number one, it's my cooking slash keeping me warm thing but number two i use these beams to go all the way up to the supports that way they can support the inner and so maybe we'll make some iron wood for our chimney that way it's like a, a center support maybe we'll do that maybe we'll do some iron wood stuff so if you don't know you have iron wood oh i don't have any iron on me but there is iron wood so these are stronger than normal wood. I don't like how they look though. They look like, eh. I don't like it. I want, I want dark wood. Look at this. That pole looks way better. That looks way better. I will never understand why they don't just make the uh, dark wood really strong. It's made out of tar. Tar is really strong, right? Maxies with lunch and a fresh Dr. Pepper. Nice. Heck yeah, Mary Lizzie. You gotta have that Dr. Pepper. Strawberry Dr. Pepper. See, I need, I'm eating. I have my partial lunch here. Lunch slash breakfast. <laughs> Tell me about your wood and talk softly when you do. Oh, yes. We'll talk about wood all night long. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right, all right. What were we doing? I got all distracted talking about wood. All right. Oh, yeah, we didn't do the, the roof on this side. Can I get up here? I can't. Okay, perfect. So we need some more 45 beams. There. There. Now we need some 45 roofs. How much do we have left? Whew, getting low on our wood and our uh and our freaking tar! We might need to go out. We might need to venture out into the plains today to get some more tar so we can finish off this freaking roof. Dang it. Get up there. I walked off. Look at it. Look at it. It's all green. Uh, it's turning orange. So you see, after the weight kind of hits it a little bit. Why is it? Oh, that would turn red, orange. Oh, God. Red. Should I put a support on the top? Should I put a post on the top, you guys? Would that help it or make it worse? So if I put a support up here like this. Is that going to make it better? That's not in the center. Is that better or worse? Does that make it better? Let me look. No, it looks like it probably made it worse. Probably made it worse. It's not structural. I think it's just adding more weight to my roof. I don't know if that's good or not. There you go, legendary says, uh, legendary says, Jason's radio voice comes out. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try not to do that. So normally when I, when you, at least for me and what the way I was taught on radio, you speak clearly, you speak slowly so people can understand you, but that's not my natural voice. My natural cadence is a lot faster than my speaking radio voice. And especially when I get really excited and I start talking really, really fast and I'm so excited about stuff. But that's not how you want to talk about it, on radio. <laughs> anyway, I don't think this is doing anything, is it? It feels like it's not. All right, so this centerpiece right here, this is what's... These are all red. That's red. That's orange. That's orange. Let's see. We'll see if it changes any color, like if it gets worse or better, if I throw on another one. So, oh, let's, oh wait, er, get rid of that hammer. There we go. And get a whole bunch of wood. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to go farm some more wood. Once this is kind of over. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm going to run out of tar, I think. And we still need to do that whole other side. I haven't even done the, the other side yet. I've just done the roof. <laughs> oh, my God. Not even the whole roof. Oh, Lord. I've just done the smokestacks at the top. So. Oh, God. I need to eat some food here. Now, normally I would trade off to a different food, but I have so much food that at this point I'm just trying to burn some stuff. So. Let's look at this. Really red, 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 orange, yellow, orange. But if I put a pole, if I put a post down right here, does that do anything? So, what does that do? 
Nope, it's catching up. Did it turn red? It did turn red. Why? Yeah, it's just red, 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 red. It's all the same color. Okay, so it didn't add anything. It did not add anything. I thought it would help maybe with some support. <sighs> all right, I guess we're going to be doing uh, iron wood down here because I don't want my roof to collapse. So, what we're going to do is we're going to replace some of this with iron wood. That way it'll at least help out with some of the stability. Yep. Let's go get some iron. Welcome to Valheim, Jason here. Exactly. Welcome back to Valheim, everyone. Jason here. Let's get some, uh, we'll do this. We'll replace that. Oh my god, it's still too much, huh? All right. Let's start throwing in some iron. God, I hate this. It doesn't look good. I hate the look of the iron uh, wood. But it's the strongest wood in the game. Can I not get up there? Are you serious? go why are you red what oh no oh, why are you red why are you red do I have to do the whole thing straight up as ironwood oh I was hoping it would mm. You know what? What the hell? What that? Oh, it was my pots and pans. Okay. I was like, what the? What had black metal in it? That's weird. Uh, so many innuendos in the stream. I can't keep up. What if I do black marble? What if I do black marble in there? Let's do this instead. Let's switch it out. Oh my god. I don't want to keep mixing up all my boxes, so I'm just going to chuck my, uh, there we go. Just chuck the iron down. Screw it. All right. So. If I do black marble. I'm about to move my, uh, my armor, aren't I? Son of a! Do I literally? Oh, don't put the hammer on there, you dummy. No, not that one. Oh, God. I just wasted a um, potion. Oh, well, whatever. All right. So if I build this straight up, will it stay green the whole way? I mean, I have a column, don't I? <gasps> I do. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I have a small column. Do I have a big one? No, it doesn't look like it. I just want a, a column. Mm, maybe we'll do rounded. Looks a little bit better. Rounded does look a little bit better. So we'll do this. Is it going to stay green all the way up? No, just, just line up. Thank you. Nope, it turns red as well. Son of a gun! It's already turning red. I'm not even that high. Yeah, look at that. I'm not even gonna get I'm not even gonna get up there. Like the wood actually is Oh my god. So marble's not gonna do it. Uh, looks better. It does, but it's not stronger. That's what I'm going for. I want it to be stronger. And it's just not going to happen. So, do I have a column? Like in stone, you have a stone column right here, like this. Stone pillar. I could do stone pillar, maybe? I don't know. I think stone is going to have the same issue. Put a metal pole in the center and it should work. Really? 
Wait a minute. Do you need to reinforce it? Don't you do that to me. Put a metal pole. I don't think... Wait a minute. Are you guys messing with me? Is that a joke? Because I don't think... I don't think you can. Like, you could put a wood iron in there, but I mean... In, so if I put wood iron, will it be more stable? Oh, wait, I didn't pick up the iron. Duh. Uh, yep, yep. Oh, wait a minute. A dancing pole? Are you guys are you guys messing with me? Is that what's going on here? So if I put wood iron in there, and then I put the column up, it'll actually be more stable. Is that what you're trying to tell me? So it needs to be a combination of wood iron with the, uh, with the column. I think, no, that's not. The center. Center it. Center it. There we go. Center. No, not that. Nope. Just line up for me. You're killing me, man. Is that centered? Right, that's centered. Oh, of course. Of course! Um, we don't need the core wood. Oh god, I picked up everything for my uh, my armor. So let's do this. Just slap this down somewhere just to get it out of my... Oh my god! I don't have enough energy to even do that. There. No, 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 no. Let's see if you guys are messing with me or if this actually works. We're going to test it out with this one. Here we go. And then... Line up! That's not the center! This is why they need to build camera. I need to get on the right angle. I have to build a platform. I probably need to build a platform. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Let me put my column down in the center. Thank you. It is green still. It is green still. Oh my god, that's that's good. All right, we need another stair here. Thank God Beeblebum's not watching. He might get a headache just from watching me do this. He's like, no, Jason, you have to do it this way. You're doing it wrong. Um, column. Oh, that's not that one. All right. One more wood iron. Right here. Did that hit anything? I guess it does. Oh my god, did it just... Did it literally just turn that one into a... Mmm, okay. That did help a lot. Yeah, it took a lot of that pressure off.
Are you literally gonna... No, no, no. We're doing this. We're gonna go up on the roof over here. Save me! I'm an ad. Jason Hotbog. Hotbog? What are you talking about? Jason? A dancing pole? No, no. It's a stability pole. <laughs> Not a dancing pole. I think... Knock out this for a second. Oh my god. I got this for a second. Just so I can get in here and... Oh my god, I still can't see it. My god. There. Done. So I should be able to build my roof again. So I need a 45 for the top, but I need a, uh, a 26 for the inside. Interior roof. And then a 45. There. There's still no update yet, Hotbog, I know. I didn't think it was going to be Monday. Simply because, uh... What's it called? Uh, Microsoft. They don't work on the weekends, and it was a holiday weekend, so there's no way. Now, is that too gaudy? What is that? What do you guys think about that pole? It is stable. Like, if you look at it... It's green all the way up. It starts turning a little bit yellow towards the top, but it's green all the way up. That one's not. Why are you not green? What? How are you not green? All right. But then there's wood iron. Look at that. That support is blue, which is really, really good. That one's blue. That one's blue. That one's blue. So that should be supporting all of these. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Oh, my God. That's good support right there. It's all good. This is why I build scaffolding. I'm going to have to. But I mean, how does that look though? Like if we built all four pillars like that. And then we put dark wood across. So, do I have any might? Oh no, I don't. We would have to do... Throw this down. We'd have to do dark wood across it. So, oh, yeah, I put it in the iron box. I forgot. Iron box has all my stuff. There it is. If it's like Husby's job, the holiday falls on a Sunday, then the employees get Monday off. If it falls on Saturday, they get Friday off. Well, and a lot of people, they will just take a bonus, like a day off. Like it falls on a Sunday, but they'll take a Monday off, even if it's not like part of the uh, normal like job description thing. Like, oh yeah, we usually give you whatever day off. They're like, nah, I'm actually going to take an extra. So we would do a dark wood beam right there. So that's where it would probably go. Oh, it's a little bit on the inside. Oh, because it connected to the, uh, is actually connected to the, uh, the ironwood. So how would that look? I look okay. And then, of course, same thing on the other side. You would, uh... You... That lined up? That is. Like that. So it would be like that. Can you do a home tour for me, please? Hotbog, I can. Let me sleep. That way it's daytime when I get out. So we are... Can you do this? There we go. We are uh, in the middle of renovating. So I built up my base with the, you know, the beginner pieces. Now that we're farther in the game, I have more advanced building parts. That's why I'm trying to replace all of it with the more advanced pieces because they look good and provides more stability if you know how to build. <laughs> I might not know what I'm doing, so it might not look so good, but 
in general, if you know what you're doing, it actually looks really, really good. So here is my uh, kitchen. It, uh, it's a bit messy because I'm rebuilding. With all of my storage for all my meats and all my herbs and all that kind of stuff. My food. My leftover. So we do have a Christmas tree out only because it gives me extra comfort. So I can actually, uh, I'm well rested for longer. That's why we keep the Christmas tree out all the time. But then I have... My uh, outside cooking area. This is like my barbecue outer area where we cook, you know, we, we grill up everything. We have our meat box. We have our sides if you want. We have our, our ovens that we can cook everything in. We have our cool table here with all our foods. I like it. And then we have a storage shed over here. This is where all of our random stuff is. So we come in here, there's hides for like leathers, things like that. Bones, resin, sap, all the just random stuff that you would collect in the game. In here. Then we have the portal hub, which I we built last week and I'm really, really proud of. So these are all portals to different parts of the map. I really, really, I really, we, we took, it took two weeks to do this, but I think it came out really, really well. So we have all of the different portals to all the locations. We have our mountain portal. We have all our bosses here. Here we go. We have our village portal. Let's go back to the village. Plains right here. We, we might need to go out to the plains to get more tar because I think I'm going to run out of tar. But yeah, and then we have our, our randomized ones over here in case we need to go to some random spot. Uh, can I have some food, hot bog? You totally can. I got, I got enough food for everybody. So if you look at my meat box, I have a whole bunch of food in here. If you need some chicken, you need some rabbit, you need some, uh, lox pie. It's almost like a shepherd pie. And I also have my side, so I have, like, salads, I have omelets, I have magical seeker aspect. And I even have more food in here, in case we need it. So I have my value menu, my cheap foods right here. I have my combos, which is, like, the medium food, you know, chicken and more salad. And then I have my deluxe combo. This is all my extra, like, awesome food. My magical food and all that kind of stuff. And then I got the leftover box in case there's anything that's randomized. Like, oh, I have like two left over. I just throw it in here. There we go. Anyway, we have that. And then we have our building area. This is like our armory. This is where I melt my my metals. I can smelt it into bars. My workbench. I need to use my, oh, my hammer. My magic galder table with the queen. My uh, forge for any metal stuff. I also have my black forge over here for all my armor and stuff. And then all of our um, metal and armor materials, you know, all the armors or the, all the metals, like tin, copper, bronze, iron, all that stuff is in here. Arrows, arrow materials, armor, armor materials, all that's in here. I thought Lox was like a salmon. No, it's like a buffalo in this game. It's like a big uh, burly buffalo. And then Fett with the super chat, dude. Very much appreciated, Fett, saying, Late to the stream, but base looking good. Yeah, Fett, we're working on my my main house now, so I'm replacing all the regular wood with the dark wood. And then we started building up my uh, my fireplace on the middle with, uh, I think we're going to go with dark uh, with black marble, but I don't know. What does that look like? What, how good does that look, Fett? Does it look okay? Should we replace that with just dark wood itself? I don't know. It feels like, because I, I think I need more support for my roof. And so that's why I went with black marble. And 07, by the way. Thank you, Fett. Very much appreciated. Uh, Todd says, I'm still in the beginning stages and I built a portal house. I have 11 portals so far. Nice. That is a really, really good thing to get done early. I didn't do mine until the end because I had so many portals all over the place. But it's a good thing to have just in case you want to put down a portal and you have a place to come back to. Anyway, I don't know if I should keep the black marble or if I should just make it all into the, uh, the dark wood. I like the look of dark wood. Oh, we'll, we'll figure that out. So we have enough wood. We have enough tar. So we should be able to finish off our roof. Let's get up here and, and finish this baby off. That way at least, the, at least the roof is done. So I think we got all this done. Toasty! God, that scared me. There you are, Fett. Man, Streamlabs, you're slow. 
slow today, Streamlabs. All right. So we need to, we're replacing all this uh, older, like the thatch roofing with the actual uh, dark wood roofing. So let's start knocking some of this stuff out. And I think we're on our uh, 26 degree. So we're going to have a shallow roof. Um, okay, we have our supports here. We're going to have to replace these pretty quickly. So, let's make sure I have my 26-degree uh, beam. There you go. There you go. We need to get this supported. Ah, oh, dang it. I knocked out the wrong thing. Ah, you know what? Let's knock all this out. Screw it. Knock it all out. And then... There we are. There. There. That way that's supported at least, so it's helping to keep up the roof so it doesn't collapse on me. Uh, did you get this far solo? Nate Frog, no. We've been playing together as a group. So there's myself, there's Beeble Bomb, another awesome No Man's Sky creator. Hopefully you know them. Zane's World, Zane is in here as well. Golden Gek, Survival Bob. All of us, all of us, we kind of have done this solo, but... Like, the way that the rules for the server work out is... We all spawn up on the same island, the spawn island right here. And we work together for the first two bosses. So as a group, we're collecting resources, we're building up until we beat the Elder. Basically, that puts us into the Bronze Age. So we have bronze armor and stuff like that. After we do the Elder, we, we all separate into our own regions. So this is the spawn island that we were all on together. So we explored this all... We got a whole bunch of resources. We got everything ready to go. And then we separated and we based it off of areas. So I am the Southwest. So this is all of my area right here. So all these islands and everything, this is all for what I've explored and done all my own. In the West, this is all Zane's area. So he's above me and we kind of share a boundary right here. So you'll see there's a weird line right here that I just haven't gone past. This is m the edge of my area right here. And this is all Zane's up here. And then Gek is in the northwest. So this is all Gek's area. This section right here. So you can see we have the uh, the anchors as our marker. So you'll notice, you see these anchors? This is my this is like my line right here. This is the edge of my territory. And then down here, down south, this is the other edge right here. So I can't go I can't Stray outside of that, like, little V area. That little section. Uh, Zane's on top? Oh, yes, he is. So, yeah. So, we all are in our own areas. And we are building up our own stuff. So, everyone else has a base as well. I wonder. I could probably sneak over and see some other bases. So, if you want to see, like, what other people have built. Let me see if I can sneak over there. Hopefully, I don't get attacked while I'm there. But we'll see. So we go back to the village. This village was like our starting area. So we all built our little tiny houses. Just so we can, you know, basically level up and get through the first couple of bosses. The first two. Ekthir and the uh, Elder. So this is my uh, my village shack. My uh, my village area. This is just a little one we have all shared. So all of us have houses. Like that's Beeblebum's house. That's Survival Bob's house over there. Uh, Zane and, uh, Gek are over here. So that's Zane's house. That's Gek's house. I can show you, like, uh, Beeblebum. He has his house over here. Beeblebum is an amazing builder. So let me show you what Beeblebum has done. Number one, he built his portal hub. Like, you saw my portal hub. I had a big old, like, square, right? This is Beeblebum's portal hub. 
So he has built an amazing portal hub. It's like a big lighthouse in the middle of the ocean. And it has all these portals all around in a big circle in his lighthouse. Look at this. All these portals. And on the inside, he has like a, a great ore farm. He has his outpost here. He has the village portal we just came from and his home portal. But he also has like all the boss portals if he wants to go there. All this stuff. Miss Land's farm. All of his portals are here ready to go. But his house is right here. This is Beeblebum's house. So you can kind of get an idea of what we're all doing. So this is his like castle. Look at this. It's beautiful. He has his like chicken farm right here. Chicken coop. He has his, his uh, land for all of his like carrots and onions and stuff like that. He has his like uh, working area. His, his blacksmith area right here. So like a working table, a workbench. He has his forge. Look at all this. This is so cool. And then he's also built basements. So... I have not done anything with a basement yet. I want to, so I will eventually learn how to do this. But look at this. He has a basement down here with all of his storage. Look at how cool this is. This is his storage area. So he has all these boxes lined up, ready to go. And then it's, it's right below his, uh, his uh, blacksmith area where he can build everything. You know, he has his house right here. Look at this beautiful house. He uses core wood. I don't know. I love core wood, but it's so hard to work with. He has his kitchen in here. His big table. He has his bedroom back here. His fire pit is out. Uh, but yeah, here's his bedroom. Look at all this. It's cool. This is insanely good. He has his cool armoire. <laughs> all of his armors. But yeah. So all of us have built our own, like, big, like, main building. This is all Beeblebum. He just did this on his own because he is an amazing builder. He has his, uh, his guard. So he has walls all around his base, like I do. But he has a big main gate that lets you, uh, in. So look at this. He has watchtowers. He has a cool, like, little, uh, like a, uh, a stable. <laughs> look at this. And you just get out here. This is insane. Look at that beautiful house. Oh, God. He has uh, ballistas that will shoot you if you get close enough. <laughs> so you don't want to you don't want to mess with those. People will damn very. Dude, I know Fett. He's the big thing that I'm jealous of is that he built out a whole bunch of basements. So like literally he has a basement down here. We saw his main house over here, but he also has a basement over here. For all of his other stuff. So that's his main house over here. Oh, wait a minute. Let's turn off auto pickup so I don't pick up anything. And he has a basement down here for all of his, like, uh, his dark wood stuff. Look at this! This is a basement! Below all of his main stuff. And if you go up here, there's where he can put all of his, uh, like his, uh, uh, soft tissue and his refined stuff. It's insane. I love these columns too, by the way. Look at these columns. This is probably what I should do for my uh, my fireplace, but I'm not good enough to build like this. Beeblebum knows how to do this really, really well. Look at this. These columns are amazing. Look at the floor above us. All these columns are holding up his, his floor for his house. So yeah, and then his house is up here. <laughs> it's ridiculous. He has this cool chicken coop. So all of his chickens are in here laying eggs. It's really, really good. Beeble Bum and a Zane. Zane is also an amazing builder as well. Jason, I made it to the center of the galaxy in No Man's Sky. Nice. Very awesome, Hotbog. It's all pretty impressive. Very nice. Dude, I know. I get jealous looking at Beeble Bum's builds. He knows how to do all that stuff. So I'm just trying to keep up a little bit. I know my own limitations. I'm not that good, but I can kind of do a little bit, you know, extravagant, but not, not like that level. I wonder. Has Bob done anything? I don't think Bob has logged in in a while.
Oh yeah, legendary. Zane builds a Zane has an amazing build. So this is Bob's. Is this is his like starter house right here? But he's also building his castle. I think it's one of these. Top, there it is. So Bob has a castle he's in the middle of building. I don't think he's finished it yet. He hasn't logged in, you know, schedules, Easter, family stuff. But here is Bob's. Look at how tall his roof is. Look at that. That's insane. So this is Bob's castle right here. Did he leave his slime? Let me look. He did. So I put this in there, like, I think like two or three weeks ago. Caution, slime bath, because... Look at that water. It's all green. It's gross because he has this slimy uh, trophy right there. <laughs> so, yeah, this is Bob's cool area. I mean, look at his kitchen, though. Bob's kitchen. Look at this. That's freaking awesome. He has all this cool stuff. Look at this. He has a cool kiki cooking area. Cooking pot. His oven is built in here. It's all awesome. Is his throne. So yeah, he's not finished yet. Uh, one day he'll he'll log back in. He he needs to get the itch again. Uh, real video says Jason. Man, you're the goat of No Man's Sky. Well, I appreciate that. I think there are definitely some uh, players that are better. I know like Zane. He knows the ins and outs, all the details of uh, No Man's Sky. But I appreciate it, man. I'm I, I think I'm pretty good. Maybe not the best, but pretty good. Uh, when was this released? Real videos. This came out in 2021, I think. So about three years ago. And they are just like No Man's Sky. They constantly have updates going on. Not as frequent as No Man's Sky. So No Man's Sky, you'll get a new update every two or three months. With uh, Valheim, you'll get a big update once per year, it feels like. About once per year, you get a massive update. And so we have an update coming. It's called the Ashlands update for, uh, for Valheim. And they're saying it's going to be the first half of 2024. We all think it's probably going to be May or June, something like that. But there is an update coming for for uh, Valheim, this game right now, called the Ashlands. It's like a volcano biome. It looks like it's going to be really, really cool. But not yet. Not released yet. So, yeah, and it's a free... It's As far as I know, all the updates have been free for Valheim as well. It's just they don't come up as often as No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is constantly getting new stuff. Oh yeah, we were doing it in the middle of the roof. Oh my god, it's raining in my house! Trying to... to get this going on in here. So let's do... our beam. Let's make sure it's all stable. Here we go. Give me a 26. Got to make sure my, uh, my stuff is all ready to go. And we need to replace this uh, beam with a nice big dark wood. No, not that. You know what? That works. I'm not going to be too picky about it. It worked. Gotta make sure to put a dang roof on this dang thing. So, where's my 26? Jason, you're supposed to tarp while doing roof, roof work, dude. Not in Valheim. We're just going to go flat out. It's made out of tar. It's waterproofed. It's fine, right? It's fine. There we 
go. Just concentrating really hard. I'm trying to get all my snap points correct. If you snap something wrong and then you keep adding to it, all of a sudden, you're uh, you're off and you're like, son of a no! <laughs> That looks like it's all snapped correctly. That looks like it's all... Yeah, that looks all snapped correctly. Alright, that's all good. Yep. I like how this uh, sconce is just floating off of nothing. <laughs> I should definitely uh, replace this wall. Because I don't want this thing to just, like, disappear. There you go. So now... Oh, God. There we go. There we go. Gotta make it look good. Well, let's rest. That way the storm goes away and then it'll be uh, daytime. Thank God. If I can see it. I'm leaving work, Todd. Good. Heck yeah, getting out of work. That's what you gotta do. Uh, Real Video says, as far as building, I'm the builder. I've been on Ark for eight years, and No Man's Sky for three, and Space Engineers love to build, so this looks like it was right up my street. Dude, if you're into, like, No Man's Sky building, it's a little... It's not, like, not exactly one-to-one -to, -one to any other game, simply because there's no build camera, and it is based on your weight. So, like, what we had to do for these pillars, you'll see, if I look at it, a, uh, a blue item means it's grounded, which means it is the most stable you can get. And then it goes from blue to green to yellow to orange to red. And as it progresses up that color uh, line, when it gets to red, that means basically if you put anything on top of it, it might collapse because it, it can't withstand the weight. So you want to make sure it's as green as possible if you're going to be building. So you see how it goes from really dark green to a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, then it turns to like a yellowish as we get higher and higher. That's what we're looking at here. So you want it to be blue. And then like some of my roof tiles are going to be like orange, like on this side. There you go. So you don't want to put anything on top of these like roof tiles because then it's a way heavier stress. So you don't want to mess with that. Now, if I, if I just put a iron across that, would that, would that make it more stable? I wonder. Would iron wood across make it more stable? I wonder. Hmm. Let's see if I can snap this. That looks good. Okay, that's good. Jason, I like this. It's kind of on the uh, terms in seven days. Is there a build limit? No real video. There is no build limit. Like... There is a build limit in a way, like you can't go so high because then the weight of your building will collapse. But there is no known build limit. I will say if you get too ridiculous, like I've seen some builds that are like thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces. When you get in there, it'll drop the frame rate. Like the frame rate really dips hard. So let me see what my frame rate is now. So my, my house is a little bit complicated, not as much as like Beeble Bombs, but I will say, let me go to my performance. Like my frame rate's not ideal right now. I'm at 40, 50 frame rate. Oh yeah, you guys can't see this. Sorry, you guys can't see it. Let me switch this over. So you can kind of see what I'm dealing with here. I'm using adrenaline, by the way. So there's my utilization and everything right here. My frame rate's at the top, the blue. 
So you'll notice 46, 48. I'm I'm not hit, I'm not quite hitting 60 in my base. But if I leave and let's just say I go to my planes farm, which is a very small build. It's a very very small build. So it's not as complicated. There's not a lot of pieces to it. Look at that. Hitting 60. Because it's a very easy build. It's not it doesn't have to load in a whole bunch of stuff. So there's not it's not very complicated. So the more and more pieces you build, the more pieces that are in the world, the harder it hits. The harder it hits you. So yeah, there's a there's no limit, but there's kind of a soft limit of if you care about performance, your performance is going to tank with really complicated, like, extremely intense builds. So, and then, if, depending on if you're on Xbox or a PC, I'm playing on PC with a decent, uh, with a decent rig. I have a, a 10900K. Uh, I have a, an AMD 7900XTX. So I have a really, I have a beefy PC. And it has a little bit of issue. So if you have an older PC, it might have some problems performing. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before I go there, I remember last week we had a whole bunch of chickens and it killed my frame rate. Do you, I bet you I have a whole bunch of chickens. Let's see how many chickens I have. Because chickens kill your frame. Oh my God. Yeah. Maybe not. Look at all these eggs. So... Oh my god, I got a whole bunch of chickens and I got a whole bunch of eggs. Okay, we need to kill some of this stuff. So if you have a lot of animals, for instance, you might uh, it might kill your frame rate. Let's see. Let's see. Right now we're averaging 50, 55-ish. Let's see when I kill all my chickens and pick up all my eggs. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, there's so many chickens in here. Get all this. Oh my god, look at all these chickens. <laughs> Level up my uh, knifing skills. And I have a whole bunch of <laughs> eggs. Look at this. Okay. So I didn't pick up any eggs before. So these are all the eggs that I just have here waiting for me. Oh my god. They've been laying some eggs. Look at that frame rate go up. Look at that thing. Frame rate's going up. I had too many eggs, too many chickens. <laughs> frame rate increase. Look at that. There's a solution. If you have frame rate problems, just kill all your chickens. It'll help with frame rate immediately. Is that all my eggs? Okay. So how much do I have? So I had 40 eggs. And 29 chickens. <laughs> 29 chickens because you get one meat from each chicken. I got 29 chickens and 40 eggs. And frame rate. Oh, frame rate's still going down. Okay, never mind. Maybe the frame rate. Maybe the chickens didn't actually help out with my frame rate. Oh, no. It's going back up. Let's see. Let's see if I go back in here. Yeah, it's actually doing pretty good. It's bouncing around. Okay, so maybe not as much of an improvement. <laughs> Murderer! I need the meat, legendaries. I need the meat. Let me put my uh, my all my stuff away. Good lord, I got all the eggs ever. All right, er, we need to go feed my chickens. That way, they keep giving me more meat. There we are. Put the knife away. To put the weapon away, so I can make omelets and I can make uh, roasted chicken now because I have a whole bunch of that. Let's uh, make sure they are well fed. What are they up to now? Oh, yeah, 50 barley. Okay, we need it. So I got to throw it down. Oh, almost perfect. The first shot. Nice. <laughs> Fancy a chicken sandwich now. Yes, get a chicken sandwich. Dude, I want some fried chicken now. So we're building over here. Did I pick up your minute? There we go. So yeah, you can see my frame rate's getting a little choppy here. 
Because I'm in the middle of building stuff. So, and then there is items on the ground. So if there's more and more items on the ground, you will notice frame rate drops. So if I pick up some stuff, it'll definitely... Because it's trying to... It's basically... It has everything ready, you know, uh, optimized in the game. It, or uh, located in the game. Let's see. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. Let's put in some... Oh, yeah. Some... 26% or 26 uh, degree roofing. Yeah, I do. I just... The biggest thing I would love for this game to get... Oh, that's why! Okay, I don't have any supports. That might be why. Mm. Well, let's get some supports going on here. So, 26 degree. Chicken and bacon with cheese on toasted... Oh my god, you guys are gonna make me hungry. You're gonna make me hungry! Go. Wait a minute. Er I know, I know. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a beam. Don't you worry about it. So yeah, you'll see the pieces start falling apart because I need to I need to support them. So let's move all this stuff out of the way. There we go. So let's get another beam. There. So that should support it. It's still in the red, though. Wow. Why? Why are you in the red? I need to replace this. Another one of my uh, longer beams. And another one here. Come on. Snap. There you go. So that'll help support it. See, now it's not now it's not red. Now it's yellow and uh, green. I like that. I'll take that. Homemade chili with Thai chili peppers. No, that's, that sounds way too spicy for me. I can't do that. No way. I can't do that. All right. Let's make some more of our roofing here. See, so now it's supported. Oh, I need to support some of these. Yeah, I need to put some beams here. So we're replacing all of our old stuff, so I need to make sure. Oh, yeah, look at this. So this is probably all red as well. Yep. Let's get rid of this. So it'll make us more room for our hot tub. So I love that. Get some more room for the hot tub. Let's add another thing right here. Up, up a little bit. Up a little bit. There you go. Goes. And then, where's my, uh, there's the roof. I hear some enemies. Are you guys messing with my boat? What are you doing down there, Grayling? Are you messing my boat up? I'm gonna be very mad. Why are you messing my boat up?
Here, now you're done. I'm gonna fix my boat again. I almost destroyed it with one shot. All right. Oh, dude, that sounds banging, dude. No, With those chilies. I don't like. I don't like spicy stuff. I can't do it. My wife does spicy stuff, and I'm like, nope. That's all you. I'm not. I'm not messing with that at all. All right. So now we can get rid of this. Oh, this interior roof. We don't need any of this now. Now that we have it all covered. And get rid of all this extra crap. Put it all in the hot tub. Yeah, look at it. We have more room for the hot tub. You can actually get in here and look at it. Instead of the roof being so low. I love it. So get rid of all this. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't finish off the roof on this side. Crap. So we're getting there, we're getting there. So we need to put our stabilite or our supports right here. We gotta replace these ones. So I'm gonna lose all this, but we'll rebuild it. That's fine. <laughs> Except for that one. That one's not going anywhere, huh? Okay. So let's put our post in. I think we're gonna do a short one. Right here. Right there, because we're going to put in the arc or arch right there. Is that going to actually, is it supporting? I think it is. Is it? It is. Okay, good. It's touching. As long as the pieces are touching, they're technically supporting each other. So we can do that. There you go. And then I like to, I don't think you need to, but I like doing a, uh, a beam across so it looks like it's supporting. I don't think you need to, but I like it. It looks good. Here we are. Done and done. Let's finish off our roof here. Looking good. Nope, down. Thank you. And then down. Oh, come on. Line up for me. See, you gotta snap it. Here it goes. There you go. And so now this bottom piece will support the top piece above it. So that's why this one was yellow. Ah, it's still yellow. It should help with the green and it's resting on there. That's red, it's red, that's red. Oh god. Maybe, you know what? Let's put in support beams right here. So, let's do this. That gonna help you? Turn green. Went from, oh no, it's still red. Why are you still red? You're killing me. Oh no, it turned yellow. What the crap? Killing me. So that's, this one's orange, right? It's orange beforehand. Let's see if it changes color or if it's just the same. Looks green. Yellow. Yeah, it did help a little bit, I guess. Yeah, as the uh, as the game registers the weight on it. So yellow, yellow, yellow. This is still red. Why are you still red? Do I need another one here? Come on. Are you red? No, you're just orange. Why are you? Why are you orange? And why are you red? What the hell's going on here? Uh, looking very good, dude. This is like I am not a uh, big builder in any games And so this is like taking all my brain power to do uh, if you want to see someone do amazing stuff Beeble bum follow Beeble bums channel. Uh, it's B uh, the B side You'll see his channel pop up in the uh in the live chat go follow him because he does amazing stuff And he shows you exactly how to do it So, I'm going to need some more. Oh my god, I got all this crap in here. Got a whole bunch of core wood. We can put the core wood away. We don't need that anymore. Oh yeah, you guys probably don't need to see my stats for this long, do you? <laughs> I brought it over here to kind of show you the, the frame rate. But I mean, you can see, if I'm not looking at it, it's getting pretty solid frame rate, right? And I turn around and look. Drops that frame rate hard because it's trying to load in everything. <laughs>
Did I not put on the... Oh my god, I didn't finish off my roof. Because I can see it from here. Notice there's something missing with those. There's no black tar. Uh, oh my god. Oh well. Let's go to bed. Gotta get this going on in here. Let's get rid of the... Uh, get rid of that. That way you guys don't have to be bothered by that on the screen constantly. So, we need to put up our sconces again. Oh, do I not have an armor? Oh, I do have a forge. Okay, I just don't have the, uh, the resin. You lose the resin? Oh, that sucks. Why do you lose the resin? Oh, we're about to get all this stuff all sorted out. Let me put the, the marble away. We don't need any of the, uh, core wood anymore. We do need... Copper, wood, and resin. So let's get some more wood going in here. And we're going to need resin, but we also need some uh, tar. Oh my god, we are going to run out of tar today. Son of a gun! We're going to run out of tar. That's just going to happen. Let's put up our uh, sconces again. Liking it, looking good. Gotta replace these, because they need to be a little bit taller. There we go. The only problem is, if I make them too tall, I won't be able to get to my hot tub. I won't be able to fill it up. Oh, nice! The shocker guy, very nice. It says, ooh, nice. Yeah, we've been replacing my uh, my normal house with all my black, uh, my black wood, dark wood. And so, yeah, it's still a little bit choppy. I still need to replace some of these parts. Like on the roof. Oh, yeah, I forgot the roof. Chickens are laying eggs still. Look at all these eggs. Oh, my God. I'm going to need to put some wood in here. We need some more chicken. I'll do nine. So what I usually do is I'll let the fire burn out because the eggs cannot hatch if there's no fire. There's no warmth. And so they'll just sit here forever. But if there's a fire nearby, it'll warm the eggs. It'll keep the eggs warm, I should say. And then they'll hatch into chickens that will grow up or chicks that will grow up into hens that you can murder and get the meat from. And so I think I have enough eggs for a while. Yeah, look, oh, I got, I, I got uh, 20, 40, 61 eggs. I think we're good for a while, but I also have a ton of meat. I have two, four, six, eight, 127 meat. So mm, we should be okay for meat as well. Anyway, I like to rotate between all of it just to, to make sure I have enough of each. But yeah, you notice I didn't put any, uh, I didn't put any uh, buffers in here. So let's do this. Is that 20? Oh, no, 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 it's a 45, sorry. So we need to do this. Because it just drives me crazy if we don't have it on one or the other. There we go. So now we have our texture, just like this side over here. So it looks like it's all good to go. Look at all that, beautiful. Oh, wait a minute, do we have a... Oh, yeah, we do have it. Okay, we do have that there. The shocker guy! Thank you so much for the super chat. Very much appreciated on that, shocker guy. Oh, seven to you. But I do like this uh, run on roof. And it, I thought it was going to not be uh, enough of a gap to get all the smoke. It looks like it's going to be fine. So it should be okay. I don't have to worry about being smoked out. Because if you don't have enough room, like we have a fire lit and you can kind of see the smoke. Oh, here's a better example. Look at that. If you don't have enough room for the smoke to escape, you basically choke yourself out with the smoke. You can die from that. So that's why I usually make my roofs really, really high. So the smoke goes up to the top of the roof and then it exits out, exits out on the side. So like this, You're pretty good. all the smoke, there you are. Thank you so much, shocker guy. 
the smoke is just exiting down the sides. And so I could get in here and kind of cook and I'm safe. In my main house, I have my smoke rising and it hits the center and then it expands out. So that's why I kind of have like a, a double decker roof, basically. Just so I can make sure. Because if your fire is not covered, it basically gets rained on and the, the rain puts out your fire. You know what, guys? I'm not gonna do the uh, I'm not gonna do the black marble. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's just too bulky, and it looks too overly done. It looks out of place against all this wood. So we're not gonna do black marble in here. It's just not gonna happen. So instead, we'll just replace it. I want to do dark wood. Hopefully, we can do dark wood. But if it's not strong enough, we'll do. Ironwood, it looks terrible, but ironwood is stronger. I just don't like the way it looks. I want that dark wood look. There it goes. So let's check and see if the dark wood is strong enough for this. So what I did before, now let's get this staircase out of here. What I hit? I don't know what I hit, but okay. What I did before was I used a log. And maybe we'll keep the, uh, the log on the bottom. Because I like this look. Oh no, now I can't snap it. So I snapped it like that. The problem is it's not snapping now. What? Why? I want it on the outside edge. Why are you not on the outside edge? Oh, you're killing me. Really? I had it like right here. If I snap the uh, dark wood. Dark wood seems to, to match up. No, it's still too wide though. Uh oh, it sticks off the end. Look at that. It, it sticks off the, the left hand side too much. Mmm, don't like that. It was it's supposed to be like right there. That's where it's supposed to snap to, son of a is this because this iron wood is messing me up here? Alright, we're gonna do this. Let's just You know what? Get rid of it. Hopefully the roof is supported enough. Please don't collapse on me. Oh, it's getting red. It's getting red. Oh, Jesus. All right, we got to we got to get some poles up here quickly. Okay. It's just too long. How is that? We'll do this. Uh, game PC only? No, it is on uh, Xbox as well. Early access. Uh, on Xbox, they call it a game preview. So it's on Xbox. It's not on PlayStation, though. If you have a PlayStation, you gotta wait for Sony. Sony has to approve it. But yeah, it's on Xbox and it's on PC as well. Not on PlayStation yet.
Well, before I knock down the other side, I want to make sure it's stable. So, you know, we need to put another one in here. There. Okay, so that lined up. So I did do it this way before. Green, green, green. Now these aren't as red because they have supports. They're yellows and oranges, so I can live with that. I can live with yellow and orange. I can live with that. Oh, these are red. How in the world am I going to support these? Yeah, why do I have a patch of red right here? Oh, I realize that. Why is this roof longer than that one? Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, why is one side of my house longer than the other? What? Wait a minute. All right. What did I just do? So that's the, the left side. It has one, two panels. This is the right side. It has one, two. One, two in the center. So why does it look like this roof is... One, two, and three. One. Oh, that's why. One, two, and a half. I need that wall. That wall probably adds a lot of support. Duh. I haven't done my wall yet, you guys. Oh, God. So maybe I should probably, I should probably put that wall in. <laughs> that wall seems like it's essential. Just thinking out loud. Probably an essential wall. <laughs> And this is why Jason doesn't build. It's exactly right. That is exactly right. 100%. That is why Jason does not build. Because, good lord, I need more food. Do I have any chicken in here? I don't. Alright, let's get some chicken and some salad going. Let's get some salad. There we go. Let me put away some of this extra crap I have in my inventory for no reason whatsoever. Don't need that. Marble, yes. The, um, core wood we don't need. Ah, yeah, look at that. Oof. We're almost going back to normal. Let's, uh, put up the, uh, put away the tar. Or not the tar, the iron. You're killing me, Smalls! I don't know how building works. <laughs> You know what the, the saddest part about that is? I was in high school and college. I was uh, going through blueprinting to be an architect. <laughs> Figure that one out. What the dude? Thankfully, my life took a turn because I don't think you'd want a house built by Jason, the architect. I don't know about that. <laughs> Obviously, I got missing walls. I'm like... Why is my structure not solid? Oh, the missing wall part? <laughs> That's weird. Uh, the, uh, they need all the walls? <laughs> all of them are required? Yeah. Oh, I need more wood. Let's just collect all the wood that's just laying around all over the place. I got wood everywhere. All walls are being greedy. Exactly! You don't need all the walls. I mean, come on now. All of them? Nah. Uh-oh. There's a glowing thing. I bet you it's iron or something in there, but I need to... need to actually get in there and... Where's my... I think it's right here. There we go. Got some iron out of that. <laughs> Get all the pieces, the materials out of there. Nope, oh, I need a uh, 45. There we go. Did I get all the pieces. All right. All the uh, wood is good. There we go. Let's. Let's get some real wood here. 
Wood. Build some walls up. Wait, he builds ships pretty good. I don't know about that. Oh, I mean, you, you, like in No Man's Sky? I mean, maybe. Depends on if you like fighters. <laughs> That's the problem. If you don't like fighters, I probably don't make really good ships. <laughs> I love fighters, especially those gold wings. All right. So now we got some walls up here, hopefully supporting. Oh, yeah, look at that. That helped out a lot. That helped out. It's not red. Did I make a... Oh, yeah. I need to do this. And this. And instead of... I mean, we should probably put a doorway in here, right? Probably. We have the uh, arches on the outside, but a doorway on the inside, just in case, you know, we need to fight off people. Let's put some... <laughs> yeah, let's put some walls up. Good lord. I didn't finish any of my walls. Goodness. Now I wonder why my, uh, my, uh, my building is not stable at all. Hmm. Such a mystery. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, wait, I'm doing it wrong. Doing it wrong. Knock that one out. So we're putting the big ones on the bottom. That's what we're doing here. What the? There we go. Yeah, snap it to the right thing or else it won't work. go and then i like putting the dark wind dark wood uh beams across it so it looks like it's trimmed out there we go beautiful now you can't tell what's in here like this big hidden uh thing oh all walls are just being greedy yep obviously you never took the structural engineering aspect of architecture no I was in drafting, and so back in the day when we used CAD, I'm sure they probably use CAD still. But back in the day, you needed, like, the best computer of all time to run CAD. And so I had to go to university. I had to, uh, I had to go to school, college, and, um, I had to go to their, co their computer classes because they had the computers that were beefy enough to run CAD. And then, after doing that for a while, I was like, you know what? I don't like all the architecture stuff. I like just using the computer and drafting so i was because i was i i halfway through i switched from architecture to mechanical drafting basically blueprinting <laughs> so i know how to make a blueprint <laughs> but that was also like over 20 years ago at this point <laughs> over 20 years ago so i am sure that in the last 20 years they have changed some things <laughs> Absolutely, without a doubt, they have. Alright, we have a walls up here. Oh, wait, we had to put our... I forgot we have a wall missing right here. There we are. I think... Oh, yeah, I did do that. So I did do that one. And then do we do one on top? Yeah, we framed it out. So we framed it out. That's why we have a, a beam on the top as well. Right there. Beautiful. There you are. Yeah, see, there you go. That's what I did. Beautiful. Uh, cool. Can you make me a, an S-Class blueprint for my freighter? <laughs> I wish. I'd be making my own S-Class blueprints. I'd be doing all the uh, S-Class reactors all day, every day, man.
Yeah, see if I put it too high like this. Like this is what I what I did with the other side, right? But if I do this, oh, why are you not? Why are you not snapping? What? How are you not snapping? Is it because of my hot tub? Probably. I'm willing to bet it's because of my hot tub. There it goes. But if I do this, hot tub is protected. But now I cannot put any fuel in my hot tub. So you need to put wood in your hot tub to basically keep it going. Can I even... I can't access it at all. Yep, you see? You can't put anything in there because it's blocked off. What can I do for that? Um... That's too wide. Mmm, God, yeah, see the arch is too wide. And if I try to snap it here? Will it snap? It won't. And now it's getting too dark, I can't see anything! Alright. I want to try to put something there, so it's technically a wall, but I can still access the, uh, the hot tub. Uh, have a great night. Well, depends on where you are. Dude, shocker. Have a good Monday night, Monday evening. Hopefully it's a, a, a good Monday evening. Look at that. We haven't talked bad about the internet and it's been okay. <laughs> I wonder if they heard me complaining too hard and they're like, all right, I guess we'll be nice to Jason. All right. How do we do this? I know there's a grate around here. Dark wood divider? If I put the divider up, will I still be able to reach through it? That's the question. Can you reach through the divider if it's up? I don't know. You know what? Let's find out. Let's find out. I have not- I've never built one of these dividers. It looks like you can see through it. Alright, let's use these. Make sure I have enough tar. Oh, we're running low on tar. Let's see. No, don't do that. So. Just, let's just put down a divider just to test it out here. So it's not what it's going to look like, but I want to see if I can reach through it. Nope, you cannot. You can see through it, but you can't reach through it. So I want to be able to reach my freaking hot tub. I wonder... Where is my hot tub at? Not under miscellaneous? Where's the hot tub at? Not under crafting, right? Is it under furniture? Yeah, it is. Okay. Can I? Do this. Alright, so if I put my grates here, let's see, where my grate, where'd the grate go? There you are. Oh, that one. Oh, you can! Okay, so I just barely, I put it just barely in here. Alright, so you can, you can get it. 
But we're talking like you got to have the right angle on that thing. Okay, so now I just need to lower these uh, grates. So it's possible. So, in order to lower the grate... There we go. So now, if I connect it to this... Lower, lower, lower! Come on! Lower. There it is. There. So now my wall is the same height. And I have a cool, like, I mean, it looks like, eh, like a headboard, I guess. Uh, read what she said, Heather. It says, and then you brought it up. What? What are we talking about? Low wall. Use a half wall and leave the lower part open. Maybe. I like that. I like having it, like, solid. That way I can just come around here and then... Oh no, can I not get it now? Son of a... I like the design, but yeah, I can't reach through it. It was working earlier. Maybe it's because it was just high enough to where there was a gap. So now what we have to do is... Can I do that? That looks terrible, though. Internet! What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was, uh... I was worried that my internet was going out. Uh, I'm, I'm looking good on my end. Uh, my internet's working okay now. So it worked when we did this. I wonder if I do this. So now Is that hanging out? Oh, <gasps> that might that might have worked. I think it might be hanging out. Okay, so now we can glitch the grates over this. Let's see if we can. Got to find the right point to snap it to. That's what I was looking for! Yes! Perfect! So now we have a built-in, like, little thing right here. With our cool wall behind it. There you go! That's what I was looking for. Beautiful. Beautiful! There's glitch building in Valheim? I mean, I'm, I, that's what I'm calling it. It might not be technically glitch building, but it worked. It worked. So yeah, now we have that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Beautiful background. Now change the, the test of the outer wall. What? What? What do you mean test the outer wall? Go ahead. Looks good. We're good. Put my hot tub, uh, my fuel in my hot tub.
Hot tub with a bar. Nice. Oh, dude. I need to put in, like, maybe we put in some shelves right here. And we can put some drinks on it. Oh, there you go. Now you guys are giving me ideas. Oh, we need, uh, what do we need? Oh, yeah, we need wood. Oh, yeah, I need to rebuild my... <laughs> I'm so, I was so focused on the outside roof. I haven't even finished the inside stuff yet. So, wait a minute, where's my pots and pans? I need iron, copper, black metal. We'll, we'll do that later on. So I just want to get rid of this heavy stuff out of my inventory. So let's put all this stuff away. Copper, black metal, just to make, just to move it. Let's get some more regular wood. We need some more tar probably. Up, oh, Dark Fusion! Did they get caught? It looks like it. Don't find, don't do too many caps, Dark Fusion. You'll get messed up by Streamlabs. Okay. We've gotten most of this all done. Oof, that's a bad gap. What the hell is this? I don't like that at all. We need to we need to finish that off. So we'll replace that one instead of a short one. We'll use a, a long one. Yeah. I don't like the... Uh, oh, it messes up the... Uh, oh my god, that looks terrible. But it's more stable, probably. And there's no gap. So... Oh yeah, we need to finish off this side right here. So let's slap some of these in. And then a half roof and a long pole here. How are you not? There we go. That was a weird snap. Here we go. I think it's looking pretty good. A little bit of smoke here, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, we gotta make our doorway. Put in some more of the windows that are way larger than they were before. Wow, okay. That's okay, we got this, though. So let's do this. Let's uh, put on some windows. So, tall one. Then the long. Just realized my, uh, my drapes are not connected anymore because I used thicker wood before. So, they look like they're off on the inside. So, we're going to need to make some more of these. I just gotta raise them up a little bit. There we go. Same problem with these? Yeah, same problem with those. Because the, uh, the core wood is thicker. And so you run into the issue of... They were strapped to a different wood that was taking up more room. go beautiful beautiful and we got our windows in here now I could go all out with the windows so we have some stuff where's my glass we could do this. So these are true windows. Why are you why are you invalid? What? 
Why are you invalid? Is it because the curtains are right there? Is the curtain in the way? Are you kidding me? Is the curtain in the way? Yeah, it won't let me because of the curtain. The Xbox update for No Man's Sky is not out yet unless Microsoft released it in the last few minutes. Oh yeah, if you're waiting for the Xbox uh, update for No Man's Sky, they said early in the week, but they didn't say Monday per se. So it might be that you're waiting probably until Tuesday or Wednesday even before we see it. How can I not do this? Why can I not? Why can I not? Why? Why can I not do this? Well, never mind. I thought I just had a problem. <laughs> I can't put it in the center. I wonder why glass cannot touch glass. That's stupid. <laughs> you can't not sta snap glass on glass. So is there a way for me to cheat this? You can't snap anything onto glass, huh? Yeah, it won't let me do it. So let's do this. We're going to cheat it. And now you just get rid of your wood in the middle. Suck it! Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I I thought I found it. <laughs> I thought I found the solution around it. All right, so what can I put in here that will not look like anything? Maybe a cage won't. No, that's pretty, that's pretty blatant. That's pretty blatant. Mm. I just want glass in the middle. Oh, that's irritating. That's irritating. <laughs> Leave the center open for shooting. Pat, that might be a good idea. That might be what we do. I'm so... How do I do it over here? That's how I did it. I put a big old piece of wood in the middle. So it was never too touching. It was literally one attached to the top, one attached to the bottom. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. That's why that worked. Ah. Uh. So the only way really around this would be doing this, maybe? But that looks stupid! That looks dumb! Alright. That's the only way to do it, because I, I cannot have two glass, you know, touching. It has to be touching a wood. Uh, Alright, we're gonna make the best of a, out of a stupid idea. So... I mean, I guess that's how we have to do it, right? That's our windows. And then we put our drapes. Did I pick up all my jute? I think I did. So, let's make our blue jute drapes. I guess we center it. I mean, at that point, you probably don't want the jute drapes, do you? I don't know. Should we do drapes? Got a jet! Happy streaming, everyone! Legendaries! Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Leave the center open for shoot. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Man, that's upsetting. You can't snap glass onto glass. 
I mean, I guess that works, kind of. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> don't do it like that. And if we do this one. You know what? We'll, we'll do this. We'll do one side with it, one side without it. And you guys tell me what looks better. So this would be our window. Son of a... So with or without the uh, drapes or with the drapes. Yeah, and you know what? With the drapes, it looks too busy. There's too much there. Drapes aren't needed. Yeah, I, I, I might agree with you on that one. Yeah, the drapes seem to just cover up the windows. I like the no drape. Yeah, no drapes probably will do it. I think that's a good joke. What if he changes his clothes at night, Dark Fusion? He needs curtains. I'm the only one here. I, and you don't know, Heather. I change clothes out here in the middle of the air. I need fresh air when I change. <laughs> so I'm changing right here in the middle of my cool, like, uh, eating area. I have people over here eating some cool lox pie or some, uh, secret ass back and just boom. Naked. Yeah, I think I agree with you guys. Or at least I agree with you, Dark Fusion. The drapes are a little too much. A little too much. We'll go with that. Little too much with the drapes. That's okay. That's all right. This sandwich is so freaking rock hard. I was going to eat it before the stream. That didn't happen. How'd you run out? What? Oh, is it choked out? Why are you not running? Uh, I might be choking out the uh, fire. Yeah. If there's too much smoke, it might not have enough oxygen. Dang it. Ah, dang it. Run out of wood. I might run out of... Nah, I don't think I'll run out of wood. I'll run out of tar before the wood. No, not that one. Got a whole bunch of core wood back. I'm going to have an actual full box of core wood, which is kind of nice. Boom, boom, boom. Can I do this? I have my treasure here blocking my view. There it goes. And then another one right here. 
And then throw in some uh, walls, some crystal wall. <laughs> oh no, I'm almost out of crystals. Well, I did dump off a whole bunch at the village. So I've been farming a lot and uh, getting a lot of materials and I've been just dropping them off at the village. So yeah, I can go back and grab some out of the village if I need to, at least for the glass. I got a whole bunch of like deer hide there. Got a whole bunch of uh, troll hide. All the stuff I don't need. I started putting my carapace from the seekers in there because I have a whole box full of it here. Eat, chase it. I should probably do that. I'm not worried about getting attacked. If I do get attacked, I'm already resting, so I'll be able to regen my health really quickly before, like, if a raid happens. But uh, we did turn down raids because now we've we've beat the uh, we beat the queen. We beat all the bosses so far, and so Beeblebum turned down the raids so we can build in peace without being attacked every 20 minutes. So we should be okay. You know what? We do need some uh, shelves, so let's do this. No, we don't want to do that. That's too much. Rounded one? Nah. I guess we don't need anything really. Yeah, my hot tub, I think it doesn't have enough room. That's why it keeps turning off and on. Oh, are you kidding me? My internet. I love my internet so much. My internet provider is the best internet provider ever. They never take me off the air. <laughs> my god, yeah, today has been extra awesome. Yeah, it feels like my hot tub keeps turning off and on. Yeah, it just keeps turning off and on. I bet you it just doesn't have enough room. No, that can't be it. It was, yeah, like it just, look at that. It just shut off. Why is that? Is it because there's not enough room in the back? Like, is it is it because I glitched it into the wall? Is that why? Uh, they need to burn. <laughs> yeah, it might be because I glitched it in here. So let's see if I just remove these two. Will that keep it going? If that is, is that the case? Is that what it is? Let's see if it turns off again. Dang it. Yeah, it's because it was so there was a wall too close to the uh, entrance. Well, that's upsetting. Oh, no, it turned off again. Is this? Let's just clear out everything here. We'll just remove the wall completely. There's no wall at all. Because we had it here before and I never had any issues. Yeah, what is going on here? Why is it just turning off? I wonder what the heck is going on. Is there a creative mode for this game? Victoria, there is. They called it building mode. So enemies will still attack you, things like that. But you can turn that down. There's all kinds of different settings. Like, let me show you. 
if you want to start a game, you go to new game. You have you have to create your own character. I have a character called Jason Plays. But if you want to do a new world, you select a new world. You can put in a name like uh, testing. You can change the seed just like in Minecraft. If someone has a cool seed, like a cool world that you like, find the seed for it and you can re you can basically recreate that world. It'll be unexplored. It'll be a fresh world, but. All the land masses, all the biomes will be exactly the same. All the islands will be exactly the same as that person's whatever that is. So you go done. And then if you go to world modifiers right down here, you can change it. You can say combat. I can switch it down to very easy. I can do death penalty, nothing. Resource rate. You can make it even less or more if you want more resources or less. Or if you want to, you just go to hammer mode. Sorry, not build mode, hammer mode. So hammer mode, you can build all the pieces for free once you have discovered the recipe. So you still need to find the recipe, the blueprint, but it doesn't cost you anything to build. And then you can just literally, boom, passive enemies. So enemies won't attack until you provoke them. So you run around, they won't attack you until you hit them first. Play your base raids. So uh, your raids will happen on your base unless you turn them off. No map, you know, all that kind of stuff. You could. Customize all the different difficulties if you'd like. You go to casual, easy, hard, hardcore. So on our uh, server, Bela's Rest, we're playing on hard mode. So combat is harder, harder and monsters will raid your base more often. We did turn that down because we beat the queen. However, we have it set to hard. So combat is harder. Raid rate happens more often. All this stuff is there. So that's essentially what we have. We have our raid rate. I think... Um, I think Beeblebum said it to much less right now. So they can happen, but they don't happen nearly as much. And once Ashlands releases, he'll switch it back to normal again. Anyway, you have all these kind of different settings if you want. But I am playing on Bela's Rest, which is our server. So yeah, you have a lot of... It's not as in-depth as some other ones. Like in, in uh, like No Man's Sky, you can change a whole bunch more settings. But... There is like a normal, there's an easy mode, there's a creative, they call it hammer mode. But yeah, it's a creative mode, there's all that kind of stuff. If you want to, so if you want to just chill out and build, and uh, you know, just hang out and relax, you can totally do that. You can build a world just for that. Uh, thank you so much for explaining it. No worries, heck yeah, I know a lot of people, they either have not played it, or it's been a while. So that mode, that whole creative stuff, that just got it added in last year. So that's, it's a year old, but it's new if you played the game a long time ago. It's, it's a new thing. I'm trying to figure out why my hot tub keeps turning off. Like, it just randomly turns off. Let's do this. We're going to build this somewhere else. Let's do hot tub. What the? Uh, pick up everything? God dang it. No room in inventory. Oh my god, I keep I keep picking up stuff I don't need. Alright. So, let's just build it out here. It's out in the middle of nowhere. There's no roof. There's nothing on it. Let's see if it just turns off randomly. Like, what is going on? Why is it turning off randomly? I don't know. Because if it is, then I mean, there's something wrong. Like, the roof or something is blocking it. Oh, now you're going to work just fine? What the crap? Yeah, it looks like it's working just fine. Dang it! Of course it's working just fine now. I might need to put my, uh, my hot tub out somewhere. I like keeping it right here because it adds comfort. Basically... When you're resting, when you're in a house that's sheltered and you're comfortable, you're warm, you get a rested bonus. You see that's the top of the screen. You get a rested bonus. While you're rested, your stamina regens faster, your health regens faster. If you're not rested, it goes up really slow. So you want to be rested for as long as you can. You can. And this adds to your rested, so it adds to your time of being rested. 
That's why I like to keep it near my bed, so when I go to sleep, every morning I wake up and I'm well rested, I can go. I might need to move it, though. Because, yeah, it's working fine now. I wonder, is it because my walls are too tall? That might be it. Maybe my walls are too tall. So let's do this. Let's make a shorter wall. Because it worked fine earlier. It worked fine earlier. So let's see what happens when I do this. Let's do... I gotta build up my, uh... My things. Like I had before. Whoop. There you are. And... Down. Down in there. There you go. Oh, there you go. So I have my liner around. And we had short walls before. We had these, and they were down a bit lower than normal anyway. So there you go. Like that. Yeah, see that hot tub is not going down. It's not stopping. So yeah, there is something about the walls. Maybe they were too tall. Yeah, it's running fine now. It has to be the roof, but I had a roof before, and the roof was actually lower. If you guys watched the beginning of the stream, my roof was way lower before. Now I raised the roof. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Oh my god, I have too much crap in my inventory. So let's see if the walls were it. The walls were just too tall around it. Oh my god, am I stuck here? Oh, come on. You can't take one step up. You're killing me, man. Really? What is in here? There. So before, we literally had it here, but it was catty corner. It was like right here. That's how it was before. So now let's see if this works. It better freaking work. Give it some time. While it's happening here, let's check in. Uh, let's put our wall or our border up. Our frame up. It did not. What's the difference? Is it because the roof? If that's the case... Jason, it was smoke not escaping fast enough. Is it that? So should I just pop this out? Let's see. Get out of there, smoke! We're just gonna stop and stare at the hot tub for a minute and make sure it's working right, if it has enough air. Hell yeah, no bed for me. Real videos, dude. Yeah, this is... I don't go to sleep. You don't need to sleep. Just drink something and keep going. That might be it. So I just... I was covering it too much, I guess. Yeah, it looks like that's it. It's still running. Hmm. So was it the angle of my roof? It probably was. Because my roof before was at a 45, not a uh, 26. So maybe the angle was preventing the, uh, the smoke from escaping just like before. Okay. Well, let's... Nope! How are we going to do this? How? 
how are we going to do this? So we need that smoke to get out of there. I don't want to bust a hole in my roof, but we might need to. We might need to break a hole out of the roof. That way the smoke can get out of there. I don't want to, though. Okay, so... Let's see if it turns off. Looks like it's good. Break it and build a chimney style above it, maybe. And so I'm thinking, I just don't want to do that because my roof looks so nice. It was all beautiful. Like, look at that. It's a beautiful roof. And I got to, like, destroy it and mangle one side of it to make a chimney. Yeah, it's letting out enough, uh, letting out enough stuff here. So... How do I do this? How do I do this? Steam, sorry, typo. No, no, no worries. No worries. Um. What if? Reset this roof, you know. Yep, smoked out. All right, let me put some stuff away because I got too much crap in my inventory now. So, bronze or copper, excuse me. Um, we don't need core wood. We don't need the jute. We took down our curtains because we don't need them. Just try to clear out my inventory because it's full of crap right now. There we go, there we go. We don't need the crystal anymore. We made our windows, so the crystal's good. Ah, uh, we don't need the blue jute. There we go. Wood, wood. Trophy. Can I put in the... Yes, I can. Don't need the resin. I need the hide, just screw it. We're just gonna try to clear out my inventory. And we could always come back and grab it if we need to. Any of these pieces. All right, all right. You put a slanted window in. What? A slanted window? What do you mean a slanted window? I mean, I, I know I could put a, a roof in, but I don't wanna mess this up too much. Let's get up there and start figuring this out. We got to make a, uh... Grab all the pieces here. All right. I built a stasis farm and accumulated 2 billion in prep for when Xbox releases a No Man's Sky update in 2025. <laughs> And you know what? I don't think it'll be that long, but you might not be too far off. Um.
there's a little bit of a gap there. I do need to put in this one. Crap. All right. We need to have this. I don't want a gap like that. That's sad. That's too much. That's too much of a gap. I was hoping maybe I can get rid around it, but nope. So. New sub here, whilst waiting for the No Man's Sky to doubt. Nice, Dan. Very awesome. Uh, hopefully, I mean, I love No Man's Sky, so hopefully you will too. It is an amazing game, and I mean, constant updates. You might not, uh, you might not like the content that they, they put in, but it's free, and they're constantly adding more stuff in. So if you don't like this one, you might like the next one. But I mean, there is ship customization, so that's pretty awesome. Hmm. Trying to figure out how to make this freaking almost like a dormer on the roof. Maybe we should do a dormer. Is that what we need to do? A dormer? Oh my god. I don't want to build it. Okay, let's go to sleep first. Well, I don't want to build a dormer, but I think we have to. Read what I said, da uh, Brian. I mean, I could read it, but how about a vent at the top of the roof so you don't have to build a chimney? A vent at the edge of the roof line? Maybe. I'll just make a dormer. I'll just make a dormer out of it. So I'm trying to keep my roof kind of nice. I don't think a vent at the end is going to do it. Because we even we knocked out the side and it, still, it would still choke out a little bit. So we need to knock out a hole. Like we need to make a gap in the roof so the, uh, the uh, fire, the smoke and steam can escape. So what I think the solution is going to have to be is a dormer. So, let's just build one. Grab all the ingredients here, because we're going to need all this crap, Ola. So, let's build a little thing here. I know, it, it does suck. But... Yeah, it looks like because I, I, I put a vent on the side and it just wasn't escaping enough. It helped, but it didn't really solve the problem. So we need a gap. And the way to do that is to throw in. I think it needs to be right on the edge as well. So. It's going to need to be like right here. Dang it. Of course, I would fall off. Um, gotta build a little scaffolding here. Now we can jump back up here. I keep doing that. Dang it. So we're gonna need to make it tall. So I'm gonna need to make a 45. Can I do it on the inside? Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Need to talk to my... You know what? I have to get some business internet going. God dang it, man. My day just got really busy. <laughs> Snap. Snap, you punk. There it goes. <sighs> so that means we can finish off this roof. So at least we have this one left. Guns. Don't you mess with me.
So, where's my 45s? Is my brain not working here? I don't think I'm building this right. Son of a gun! Yeah, I don't think I'm building this right. My brain's not working. My brain's not working. Am I just have to do this manually? Because I'm not a smart man? Why is it so hard for my brain to understand how a dormer works? It's literally a window. Like you see a second floor win- my god, what- what is- why- why? Is my brain not working? Oh, you're not gonna- mm-hmm. So it's literally, where's the roof? Like this, right? Good lord. Snap. Oh, they're not gonna, there you, aim it. There you go. Like that, it's just. Is my brain not working? What is this game? Northern Opinion. This is called Valheim. Very awesome, a uh, Viking survival crafting game. And I am not a good person to watch to know how to wor work this game, because I am terrible. But, other people know how to play this way better, and it's a very fun game. Am I losing my mind here? Ow! Because I wasn't going upside down, I was doing- okay. Duh. That's why I was doing it wrong. I was wondering why it wasn't working. <laughs> so I gotta make this gap. This might be too big. And I have a little bit of a gap there. Viking home and garden. Yes, only 10%, but there's hope. <laughs> Never have I ever... Sorry, thanks for answering. Looks interesting. It is a Northern Exposure. It is a very awesome, awesome game. It's just sometimes when you try to do something and it just doesn't want to gel because, you know, you're not talented enough to get it to work. I mean, we've put another uh, roof cap on this. It's going to look in it's going to look weird on the inside, but I mean, look at on the outside. It looks very good. Uh, that's a nice, good, clean, you know, thing. But on the inside... I don't know about that. And is that enough? Or does it need to be higher up? Does it need to be higher? Probably. Yeah, 
It probably needs to be higher to let the, the smoke go a little higher. So let's raise it up a little bit. So. Let's do... Just a little bit. And now, let's pop a roof on there. Put the uh, 45s. Snap. Get over here. Come on, snap. Not that one. Looks good from the outside. This looks good. Eh, not that side, though. But on the inside... Yeah, see? What the crap is this? I got half a dormer just chilling. Or half a, a roof piece. Let's get rid of that. And instead, we're just gonna finish off the roof. Screw them! Snap. Snap. There. So that should keep it going. Enough room. And then, I mean, if we want to dress it up, we could do... Like these. Oh, that's a 45. Excuse me, 45. Snap. Not like that. There you. Come on. Why? Why are you being such a bee? All right. There. I mean, we could... I don't know if this is going to block enough. It might block too much of the stuff coming through, but at least we have that. I guess it looks fancy. Jason, hello to you. Hello, Chet Sandman. Hello. Oh. My stream completely stopped there for a second. That's always awesome. Um, yeah, no data. Awesome. I just looked over and my uh, stream numbers reset. Oh, yeah. I love it, dude. <sighs> One of these days. One of these days. Um, you know what? Oh, no, no. I don't want to say that out loud. Never mind. No, 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 no. My, uh, my cable line might accidentally get cut up. So they have to redo it. Do the same on the other side to balance it out. Maybe. What am I going to put on the other side, though? It does. Yeah, I see. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. We got to put a dormer in. Yeah, I hate that. But it is allowing the smoke to get out. So now the question is. Can I, can I fill this back in? Let's see. Yep. 
Come on. You don't want to... You want to just give me that? Come on. Let me just snap it like... Oh, God. You're going to make me do this, huh? Can I put this in? That allowing the smoke still to come out. I need an exhaust fan. <laughs> I need an exhaust fan. Do I get smoked out here? That looks like it's. Oh no! There it goes. Smoked. It looks like it's going out. It looks like it's tall enough. It's not going out like the uh, spa keeps running. It's not like putting itself out, so that's okay. Okay, good lord. Oh. Nowhere, man. Don't know what your link are. I don't see your links anywhere. And if you're not a mod, you can't link. Uh, Northern Opinion says I'm waiting for Ark Ascended to uh, DL to PC on Game Pass. I noticed your live stream. I bet the DL download will still be going well after you're live. Longest wait times ever for download is Xbox for PC, dude. I don't know about that. We'll try my internet out. I'm going to I'm gonna have to get my internet checked out, but my internet has been sucking lately, so I bet you it's faster than my internet is, uh, Northern Opinion. <laughs> I don't want to add another dormer on the other side, but I feel like I need to. All right, well, now that we know it works, let me put my walls back up. Man, I thought it was the walls. I was hoping it was the wall so I didn't have to build a freaking new roof. But at least now we know the, the, the problem and so we fixed it. That it? Yep, that's it right there. There we go on this. So where's my... There you are. Smoke! Scorched Earth is a big weight. Yes, looks all right, but works amazing. Not as good on the uh, straight roof. Big downgrade. I know. I know. I like the... I love the roof, but I mean, I don't... To be fair, I don't really come out here as often. Whenever I do, I'm mostly just running out to my boat in my harbor. So if I get on my boat and I look over, it still looks good. It just doesn't look as good, which is annoying. Need more wood. We blew through a lot of wood. Holy moly. We also need some more gun. Oh, no! We're almost out of tar. I'm going to have to go get more tar, you guys. Holy macaroni. We went through all of that tar. Over 280, I think. 280 tar. Just gone. Holy smokes. Did we get everything built, though? I think we did. I mean, I need to, f to put some finishing touches up, but I think we got most of it all built up. Mm 
I just realized I won't be able to fill up my, uh... God. Let's do this. Hot tub. Remember, we gotta, like, basically sit it on the outside. Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of these buffers right here. These prevented it earlier. And then we can build our hot tub. I think that was on the outside. Yep, right there. Beautiful. And then we build a half wall. And then instead, we need... Oh, fine wood. We didn't bring any fine wood over here. I need to sleep first. That way I can see what's going on during the day. Um, how can I send a link? You need to contact one of the mods. They will be able to do that. If you're going out for tar, can you pick up some bread and milk? We're, we don't need any more milk, Heather. Milk goes bad. The last time I bought milk, it sat in the fridge and expired before you drank it all. So we're not getting any more milk. I'll go get some bread. That's fine. But you don't drink enough milk for me to buy another gallon. <laughs> I'll buy it. Maybe I'll buy a half gallon. I'll buy a half gallon. That's what we'll do. I'm tired of buying milk that just expires in this house. <laughs> oh. Come on. Link up. Glitch in there. And... There we go. Beautiful. So now, we should be good. Smoke is escaping through the dormer. Uh... Two liters will work. All right. Wait a minute. Isn't there two liters to a gallon or is that four liters? Okay, I'll do a two liter. Two liter. We're not doing bag milk either, Heather. That's gross. We do a gallon jug in a plastic jug like it should be. <laughs> no, it's turning off again. What? It has to be the combination of the walls. I am so tired of this freaking hot tub. I'll tell you that right now. This hot tub is making me angry. All right. All right. You know what? We're going to just go back to normal. Put little tiny walls around it. We're leaving it the way it was because I am tired of fighting this freaking thing. I'm tired of fighting you, hot tub. Just leave it alone. Before I even put anything in there, let me put the walls up. I'm tired of this freaking hot tub. I just wanted to make it look nice. It was working fine before, but now I gotta like fight it every step of the way so that it'll freaking work. There. There. There, hot tub. Are you happy? God. Barely two gigabytes uh, download on Game Pass says it works in progress, but wow, very nice for something unfair. Dude, Northern Opinion. It is freaking phenomenal. It is freaking phenomenal. I... N there are... There are some games that you play and they say early access and you're like, yeah, this game is early access. It barely works. There's a whole bunch of bugs. And then there's Valheim that says it's early access. If they just said this was finished and they released it, I would not even... I'd be like, okay, yeah, it's a finished game. 
when they, when uh, the people Iron Gate, the developer behind Valheim, when they say early access, what they mean is they want to add more content and they don't want to charge you for it. So instead of charging you DLC prices, they just say, eh, it's early access. We're not done yet. We're going to, we're going to keep adding more and more to this game. That's what they mean. And it's awesome. I love it. It is so freaking cool. We're just going to keep this thing here. No, now I'm going to try because it looks like it's working. It's working fine. So let's see if this is the problem. Putting this in here. Can I still get in there? I can. Okay. So if I put this border on it, does that cut it off? It looks like it's fine. So it was just the wall. height. So it was basically... It needs to be in an open area. If you want to put it in a room, you need to make sure it's like open and airy so it doesn't get choked out. Oh my god, it needs room for the smoke and the steam and... God, this hot tub is a pain. This hot tub is a pain! I need to make my deck bigger. That's what I need to do. I should have probably extended out my deck another square. So bring it out to like right here. That way there's enough room and space. But if I did that, my roof would get really low. And I don't want to do that either. So that's the compromise. We're just going to have short walls on this one because screw you, hot tub. <laughs> Help Jason with a smoke video on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if I want to look up a smoke video on YouTube. That might not be a, like the kind of video I want. All right, we need to... Let, oh my God, we still haven't done our chimney. I just realized. We need to do our chimney. the hell did I? Oh, I destroyed my cooking pot. Why? Why did the cooking pot get destroyed? What happened to that? What happened with this? Why are you? Why? Why? That should not have happened. All right. So if I put down a, a wood like this. That blue, okay, that's green, that's green, that goes up here, that helps all this. Oh my goodness. You know what? I don't care at this point. I don't care. Put that across there. There. And it goes down into the ground, so it doesn't look like it's floating. There. There. So that looks way better, right? And then we can put in this. More stability, I'm hoping, right? Okay. I'm going to have to make a spice rack. Oh my god, if I destroy that, there's going to be a million things that pop out of it. I need room. <laughs> I need room for a spice rack. All right. Let's destroy this, and we're going to... Oh yeah, actually, we need to just put in poles here. Barely too... Oh, I already read that. Here we go. A little pull underneath. Before it collapses. Here we go. There. Beautiful. All 
I know spice reactors gonna be a million fruits and dandelions and burning. Okay. Oh my god, the box. You're in the way, box. Here we go. Got it done. And then. Do I have enough for one more? No! Oh, no, I have wood. Okay, I need wood. Whew. I thought I didn't have enough tar. I was going to say, no! We just ran out. I have enough tar. I still got 21 tar. So we're still okay on tar. Whew. Got to have those spices. Oh, yes. You got to have that spice rack going. You got to have the uh, pots and pans. So, oh, yeah. We're doing this. There. I think these ones we can get away with a short wall. Let's see. Yep, short wall will work on this side. But just on the sides, it's going to be a double. We probably have a million chickens over there. There we go. That looks way better. I like that. Way better. Oh, yeah, we need to make our spice rack now. Where's my spice rack stuff? There you are. There we go. It has to be connected. It has to be close to your cooking pot. That's why you got to put it in a special spot. I also need to make my pots and pans. So, we hang them off over here. Do I put a lower roof right here? That way I can put my pots and pans on the outside, like right that, like that. I feel like I need a, a wall right here to put my pots and pans. But is that going to be too low? Uh, no, okay, no, that does not feel too low. So let's put a lower wall on this. There we go. Oh, no, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. So maybe we'll just hide the pots and pans. We can probably just slap them on the wall like right there. So pots and pans like right here. Yep. All right. Iron, copper, black metal. That's what we need. Iron, copper, black metal. Five of each. Later, midnight. Gotta run. Thank you, dude. Thank you for hanging out while you could. Very much appreciated, Midnight. So we need iron, copper, black metal. So we need five. Iron, copper, black metal. Black metal, five. Here we go. And then just to hide it, we'll put it over here. Done. So just to make sure. 
Level five, I believe that's all we need, right? Level five is for yeah, Mist Hair Supreme, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we got uh, everything connected here. Beautiful. Did you turn off? Did you turn off? Don't you dare turn off on me. Let's sit here for a second. Let me look at the chat while we're waiting for my hot tub to turn off. Oh! Ugh. So, guys, what are you thinking of uh, one to three deaths? You guys thought I was going to die today? I, no, I don't need to go out and, and uh, farm in the plains, so we're good. I mean, I would be okay. You know what? Maybe we should do that. Oh, yeah, I need to put my banner back up. I forgot my banner that fell off when I was uh, building up my wall again. It looks like my hot tub is okay. We always vote that, Jason. I know. You guys got to make sure it's, <laughs> it's it stays normal. All right, I need to make my purple banner. Where is my purple banner at? Yeah, we gotta put it up right about there. So, oh yeah, I need leather scraps. Crap. Let's do that. I forgot how much leather scraps. I blew through a ton of them doing the, uh... Doing the, all the, the different banners over for the portal hub. Holy cow, I burned through a ton of them. So... There. Oh yeah, we need to move this. Oh, don't put the hammer on there, you dummy. Need to move this out of there. So get rid of that armor thing. And yeah, we need to put the armor stand here. And I believe the nubs need to be out. So you want the, the nubby parts out of there. That way, when I put in all of my fancy stuff, it all works out. There we go. So. I hate that you have to have it in the hot bar to put it on there. It doesn't ask you what you want. Oh, dang it! Nubs on the back! <laughs> dang it! Oh, well, let's take all this stuff and let's put it back down, but we had to turn it. Nubs on the back. Alright. Now it should be okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, dang it. Alright. There. I actually picked zero deaths today because who dies during base building? <laughs> but we are talking about Jason. That is true. If I did not have my cape, I probably would have died a couple times. <laughs> no no joke about that. 100% would have died a couple times. Oh, yeah, we need to make a door. We need to make another iron door or black, dark wood door, whatever you want to call it. So what do I need? I know I need iron for the door. You need four iron, four iron, and I have the tar and I have the wood. So I do have the wood, right? Oh, but I'm going to need more wood. I have all the tar, but I'm going to need more wood. And I need eight iron. So let's get some more wood while we're here. So eight iron. We're going to have to go get some more iron. I, I'm getting kind of low. I don't like having like this flat. This not as much. This few. <laughs> Oh, iron, because you never know what you're going to need for the Ashlands, and I want to be prepared. There we go. And then we can just open the door. Beautiful. I do like the windows. 
I, w I didn't think I was gonna like them being split like that. It does kind of annoy me that you cannot do a, a one just big window, but I do like the windows. Seeing the glass, I like that. It feels like a house. Instead of just having a hole in the wall, there's actually a window there. That's kind of nice. So let's start putting some of this stuff away. I think we've done it. I think we totally renovated our house. It's all uh, dark wood, black wood, whatever. I had to put my freaking dormer in here. That still irritates me. But we got it all done, though. That's all that matters. We got it all done. It's all switched over to the dark wood. Everything's all nice and clean. I'm going to have to get some... I definitely have to go get, farm some wood. That's what we need to do. Before we end, I'm going to go do my... Uh, I'm going to go do my resin run. Because I have a resin run where I go get a whole bunch of resin and all that kind of stuff. I can show you guys what I do for that. Um, Should we all get on that? Let's make sure all my equipment is finished or cleaned up. Fixed, whatever. My run is 82. Look at that. Boom. One day I'll get back up. I think I my max run was at 94 at one point. 94. And then I just, you know, die. <laughs> Every time you die, you'll lose your skills. And so I've been 94 down to, I think I got it down to 50 again, which is insane. That's a lot of death. Windows do look sharp. They do. I like the glass in the windows. Oh. Let's get in here and uh, see what is happening here. So every once in a while, because I have torches, like these torches, they use resin to fuel and you need resin constantly. So what I've done is I have a run that I do back at the uh, village. Let me eat my food real fast. It is storming, so that doesn't help. Well, let's go back to the village. He died in my stream because he forgot his cape. Yeah, I forgot I didn't have one, Heather. I died. I literally, like the beginning of the stream, the beginning of it, I jumped off our farm, the farming platform we have, hit the ground and just died right in front of Heather. <laughs> I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot I didn't have my freaking cape. And so there's no floating down to the ground like this. Just, you just smash into the ground and die. So, what I do is, that's the uh, main village right here. I'll come down here, and as I'm collecting mushrooms, like there's mushrooms marked all over the place. What I will do is I'll chop down the little trees. So the thin, like, uh, very uh, small trees actually give you more resin than the big trees do. And because they're very thin and small, you only it takes one hit to knock them down. So it's very fast to do that. So if you're looking for a lot of resin, all you gotta do is look for your uh, smaller trees and you can just get it. Oh, I might have farmed them all up. I should have brought a, a light with me. I have a wisp, that'll help. That way I can see the mushrooms. I'm trying to pick them up. I might have farmed up all the little tiny saplings. Oh, God. Where's my mushrooms at? There we are. So you do, I do this just to get, you know, as much mushrooms as possible. But also to get my saplings. So, right here. These little sick trees right here. You knock them down. They will give you like one or two pieces of wood, which is fine. I don't care. But mostly, I'm doing this because I want the resin. Because resin's really hard to find. And I mean, yeah, if I get attacked by a Grayling, I can just, you know, or a Grey Dwarf, I'll just kill them and get some, uh, some resin out of them as well. But mostly looking for these little trees. Because they give you a lot of resin. And as you can see, like when you get to certain mushroom mounds, like I, I was chopping down trees and I was full of uh, wood. And I didn't need wood at the time, so I was making big... Like, these are all my stacks of wood. I would go around, I would collect the mushrooms, and then lay down a whole bunch of logs. And 
The wood will never disappear if you stack it like that. Like, if I just took the wood and threw it randomly, like, if I just chuck my wood, like, I don't need it, like that, that will eventually disappear. Unless you put a workbench next to it, and even then, it'll only last a little bit longer. So eventually, this loose item will just go away. Hey, buddy. But if you build it, if you build these wood piles, they never go away. They don't despawn. So it really behooves you to, uh, to build things. Anything built will just never go away. Chop down all this, get a whole bunch of resin, get all my mushrooms. And yeah, this is literally what I do. I need resin. I'll just run around and farm because I'm getting my run skill up. I'll do some jumps. So I get my jump skill up and I'm getting my wood chopping skill. So you're actually getting skills by doing this like boring, like meditative run. Like I, you know, listen to something or whatever. And I just run around in circles, just getting a whole bunch of resin and wood. Look, we're already up to 16 resin. Doing pretty good. Uh, it was great. Maybe you could do it again on Thursday. Dude, Heather, I'm going to try not to. Because that was like the first time I died in a long time. I was like, oh, no, I just ruined my streak. It was like a two or three week period where I didn't die. And then broke it. <laughs> Hello, Grayling. Give me your uh, resin. That's all I want from you. Hello, Grayling. You're done, too. So I'm not worried about the big trees. Big trees, you can chop it down, but it takes you longer, and they only give you, like, one or two resin. These little sap saplings, I've gotten like three or four out of one. One sapling is giving me like three or four resin. So, and they're so fast to just knock down one smack and they're done. So it's a really fast way to get a whole bunch of resin. Get a whole bunch of wood too, because I mean, you only get like two or three wood for each one, but you only have to chop it once. So you're getting it really quick. Look at that, I already have a hundred, over a hundred wood, and then 35 resin. You look around for more. Oh, a little sapling. You don't want none of this boar. You do not want it. You just stay over there. You mind your business, I'll mind mine. I don't want to murder you, but I will if I have to. Uh, nice to take a break from the No Man's Sky drama. Is this an MMO or headed for? Uh, I mean, you can have up to 10 players at one time. So it's more of like a, uh, like Minecraft. Think of it like very similar to Minecraft. Now, you don't have to have any people. You can run the whole game solo if you want to. However, it does get more fun, I think, and more, uh, it does get a little bit more difficult because for each additional player the enemies will gain a little bit of health and they'll do a little bit more damage the more players you have the more they do they scale according to how many players are in the game and so it does make it a little bit harder but on the same side though or on the flip side of that is if there's more than one character more than one person playing enemies can only target one at a time so it kind of gives you a break like if you're getting your butt kicked you can say, hey, I need someone to take over getting damaged while I, I take a breather. And you can back up and have another uh, one of your friends aggro them. That way they don't focus on you. And you can take a breath, get your stamina back, heal up if you need to, that kind of stuff. So it does help. If you're solo, there's no breaks. You don't get the, uh, oh, I need to take a second. Nope. The enemies will just keep coming. Especially for, like, bosses. Bosses are really difficult. So you could do it solo for sure, but it's harder versus uh, in a group. Dun, dun, dun. How much resin do we have? I have 150 wood and then 44 resin. That's pretty good. 
And we're getting close to our weight limit. So this is the point when I'd start making stacks of wood. However, I need the wood because I just built a whole bunch of stuff at home. So I'm going to need to bring that back with me because I built a whole bunch of crap. So I need to replenish my wood, basically. <laughs> my wood is not strong enough. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, and you can have up to 10. Up to 10 players in one uh, server. One, uh, one world, basically. So we are playing on a uh, server right now with five of us. And it can get real crazy when there's five people running around, uh, like, fighting a boss. It gets ridiculous. But it's really, really fun. I love it. It's so much fun. Like, I, I told uh, Gek, one of the other guys on the server, that he wants to do the Queen, which is, like, the hardest boss in the game right now. One of the last bosses you do. The last boss right now. And I said, look, if you want to do it, I can help you if you want. If he wants to do it solo, it is a rough fight solo. But I will jump in and I'll help him because you do get rewards for fighting bosses. You do get uh, items. And so there is a reason to do it. But yeah, it gets real difficult. Oh, man, I'm going to have to. I mean, you know what? Let's stack up one stack. I want more resin. So, let me put down a stack of wood so I can get a little bit more resin out of here. Hopefully. Walk away with at least a stack of 50 resin. That's what I'm aiming for. Oh, we already have a stack of 50. Okay, so maybe a little over 50. So I do need to do some of my, uh, need to replant or replenish some of my, uh, my torches back at home. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I got a bounce, Jason, but take care. Don't forget to get some rest and bite to eat, bro. Dude, I need to go get something to eat for sure. I, I've i taken like three bites of my sandwich I made for my, my breakfast slash lunch. So <laughs> I'm definitely going to be eating something. Do I have any more resin around here? Any more little saplings? Come on. we go we're almost there um wood cutting went up let's see what my skills are at so runs at 82 jump is at 57 wood cutting's at 36 i did die a lot don't judge me too hard elemental magic's 49 did i die i thought i was at 50 i don't think i died i don't have any markers maybe i wasn't at 50 i could have sworn i was at 50 am i not at 50 I'm trying to think. I haven't played. Did I die on Monday? Last week? I don't think I did. Maybe I did die last week. Son of a gun. Man, I thought I was at 50. Son of a gun. Okay, it's finished. I'm committed now. Dude, do it. Jump in. It's so much fun. Now... When you start out, you don't have very... Like, you saw all the stuff I have. You don't start out with that kind of stuff. You start out with, like, uh, a rag tunic, leather, things like that. And then you start building up. Every biome is a little bit different. So you start out in the meadows, which is kind of easy. That's where we're at right now. But then, once you start getting better and better gear, you can move on to, like, the uh, Black Forest, which has higher enemies. And then the Swamp, which is poisonous. And then you can move over to the mountains, which are very cold, but it has, like, different metals in there. You have iron in the swamp, silver in the uh, mountains, things like that. So as you progress to each different uh, biome, you get better materials, and then you can build better gear. And you can build better uh, bases, things like that. It is so freaking fun. Uh, my wood is not strong enough from Jason. <laughs> it's not. It's not. All right, let's put the wood away. 
There we go. We're getting back into normal. We gotta start refueling our uh, torches. There we go. Oh yeah, we gotta check up on our uh, on our chicks. I bet you we have a whole bunch of chickens I need to go uh, get some meat from. I gotta go murder my chickens. Oh, yeah, we gotta check all these torches. These are the specialty torches that I. It hurts to refuel these. These ones not so bad because it's just a regular resin, but these ones take like grayling eyes. Or gray dwarf eyes. This one takes guck. Oof. Um. <laughs> Greg the Golem. I named that guy. Love it. All right. Let's go do our torches back in our uh, base. There's all these. And then on the outside here. Oh yeah, I had to replace these, so that's why they're filled up. And there's ones here for my dock. I think that's all my torches, my regular torches. So I need, now I need some gray dwarf eyes. I didn't pick up any. Oh yeah, I need some wood for all of my uh, stoves and everything. So let's put the resin away. We need some eyes, and we need some guck. So let's do these blue torches over here. Blue is my uh, gray dwarf. And then guck for my green. Here we go. Why don't you use the lanterns? They don't require anything to shine. That is true, Sandman. That's why I have, like, the lanterns here. But the problem is the lanterns don't burn very bright. So at night, they're not very bright, whereas the torches are very bright. And the other thing, that's the, the other reason why I do a wisp torch. You don't need any fuel for a wisp torch. These things, you put them down, they are permanent, never have to refuel it. But again, they don't burn very brightly. So they're dim compared to a fire. That's the advantage of using the torches that are fire. That's why. And then also, I like the guck, like the colored torches because it's a boss. And so it's, it feels like it's extra special. You know, I did have just the, uh, the wisp torches. These ones right here, the wisp torch. Because, you know, you don't have to refuel it. But it's not as cool, like the green torch with the green bone mask. So I like that. It's the color coordinated thing of it. I did make, or we did make manual torches here. So we put up a, uh, a certling trophy because a trophy never needs fuel and it burns all the time for the queen. But I want it to be more red. I want a red torch. <laughs> I like how the boss trophies, they talk to you. Seethe your pride, creature of Odin. My long reign is at an end, but those who came after me are greater still. Or who come after me. I like the guck chime. Yes, the guck is cool. Look at that. It's so cool. That's why I did it. So, you know, you want the colors. But yeah, for like all these, like all of my, my portals had this. It was just whipped wisp torches inside of stone. So it looks like a little orb on top of the stone. It looks pretty cool. But they're not really bright. Same thing, you know, these... uh toward these uh lanterns are not very bright i want them to be bright shine bright like a diamond all right let's put our mushrooms away oh no mushrooms are filled oh crap well we'll put it in here for now i have over i'm over on mushrooms so i'm gonna have to start cooking with mushrooms oh yeah we need to do wood for all of our stuff oh yeah before I go crazy here, let's check on our chickens. Got a lot of them in here. Oh, yeah, look at all the chickens. Holy crap. They're starting to climb on each other. <laughs> let's get in here and look. Let's pick up some eggs here. That way they don't hatch anymore. Look at these. Look at all these chickens in here. That's a lot of chicken meat. I'll come back when you guys have grown up so I can get my full chicken meat out of you. So if you kill a chick, 
Number one, that's a nasty thing to do. Don't do that. But number two, if they only give you maybe feathers and maybe a chicken meat, but it's very, very low. If you let them grow into a hen, it's a guaranteed, I think you get two or three feathers for each hen, and you get a uh, chicken meat. So that's why, you know, I, I let them grow. <laughs> gotta, gotta let them grow into adults. That way I can get all of my materials from them. It looks cool. I know, Sandman. It looks really cool. That's why I did it. It looks cool. So let's repair all this. Oh, it's about to be nighttime. I can show you guys what it looks like at night. So, you know what? Let's go to my uh, Mistlands farm. I want to make sure I have health before I do that. Mistlands farm. I can grab some stuff out of there. Have my uh, mist light on. That way I can see through the fog. Up, oh, all my puffs are ready to go, but I'm not going to pick you yet. I'm just here for this. Zero? How are you at zero? What the? How are you at zero? Why are you at zero? I hear somebody. I hear y'all. We don't want to mess with the y'all at night. I don't want to do that. So we're out of here. Let's go. I thought my sap would have been filled by now. I guess not. That's all right. No, it's not going to work every time, but, you know. I can put the sap away. But yeah, so if I put my wisp light away, and I just stand here, it's lit up. But I mean, look at the difference. Let's do this. So that's just with the torches, with the wisp torch. You can kind of see what's going on here, but it, you gotta, it's darker. And if you come over here to like the lanterns, it's way brighter. Like you could, you can really notice the difference with the uh, regular torches versus the wisp lights. I mean, I can go over here to my, uh, my armory is all wisp lights, all wisp torches. And so it's lit up, but not very much. Like, it's kind of dark still. You can kind of barely see what's going on here. So it's lit, but not very much. And I got them all over the place. Like, look at that. I got wisp lights everywhere just to light it all up. But yeah, like, look at you see the signs. It's really, really dark in there. Ogden says, thanks for the stream, Jason. Gotta go and pick up the wife. I gotta start cooking for the wife. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta cook. But yeah, so it's nighttime now, and it's getting real dark. So that you can really tell the difference. Like, the light, they do light it, and you don't have to add any fuel to them, which is a bonus. However, I mean, look at it. It's not very bright. That's the drawback. You don't need to add any fuel to it, but it also doesn't light up the area as much as a real torch does. Like, I mean, look at that. That's really bright. I like it. That's crazy bright. So, yeah. Another benefit. These ones, not so much. Like, these are all my normal torches. Look at that. Beautiful. All lit up. Inside my house. All lit up. Hot tub. <laughs> Did I just hear a... Are there fuelings out there? Oh! I forgot. Yeah, at night... Depending on which boss you defeat, the enemies at night will get d more and more difficult. So, like, for instance, if you kill the Elder and you kill, uh, no, let's say you kill Bone Mass, all of a sudden at night you'll see more skeletons. If you kill, uh, the Plains boss, you'll see more of the Plains enemies. Where are you guys at? Right down there. See these guys? Haha! -ha, suck it! 
fueling. There you go. See, you get you get more. The enemies increase depending on which boss you've killed. So that's a kind of a warning. Like if you want to go after a boss, just remember, if you kill a boss, you will uh, you will be basically activating the enemy for that region. And they only come out at night. Like during the day, I can run around the meadows no problem. At night, you will start seeing that. Like I can. There's going to be ticks and there's going to be uh, seekers out here. At night. Let me see if I can get a seeker to show up. Or a tick. Those are the Mistlands uh, bo enemies. And they will show up in the meadows. They will show up in the plains. They will show up in the Black Forest. I might be lucky. I might be just getting fuelings right now. Oh yeah, I need to put some stuff away. Good lord. Practical versus decorative. Yeah, exactly. So, it's one of those things where I like having the, uh, the wisp lights because you don't have to worry about them. You put them down and they work forever. But, they're not as bright, so you need to have more of them. That way you can light up the area. Versus just a regular torch that will light up the area, but you gotta, you gotta refuel it constantly. Oh, I'm getting stacked up again. So I made a uh, personal chest, and also I have a decorative chest right here. So you can... Where's it at? Where's my chest at? Furniture? Um, Where are you at? Where's my decorative chest? Is it under miscellaneous? Yep, right there. Treasure chest. So you need a whole bunch of items for the treasure chest, but it looks really cool when you put it down. So, yeah, you put it down, it's open, it has all your, uh, treasures. You can't interact with it, you know, like, you- It says treasure chest, but you can't put anything in it. <laughs> oh, Diablo vibes! I don't know about Diablo vibes, but yeah. <laughs> kind of, if you're talking about the bosses, yeah. I like the new chimney. Windows. It's all looking fancy. Looking fancy. All right, guys. Well, I do have to go uh, cook some dinner for the wife. So before she uh, murders me, let's... Um, what is APG playing right now? No Man's Sky and Enshrouded. Let's see what he's actually playing. What are you playing, APG? If you guys don't know Action Pants Gaming, amazing, amazing channel. He does No Man's Sky content. Enshrouded, he's a really amazing builder. Don't let him tell you otherwise. He can build amazing stuff in, like, everything. Enshrouded, Valheim, uh, No Man's Sky, everything. So he's playing No Man's Sky right now. So let's go raid him. And I want to see a whole bunch of suck it Jasons in the live chat when we raid APG. So thank you guys so much for hanging out today. Sorry my internet sucks. I will be looking into it. Midnight, I don't know if you're still here. You're probably not. I will check into business internet, but my area and the price of it, I'm not going to spend. Like, I could spend $500 a month on internet, but I will go, like, I'll be homeless. <laughs> so... I can't spend a million dollars on internet, internet, but hopefully maybe we can get a solution to that. Or maybe I'll just go down and accidentally, you know, I need to go adjust my yard and, and accidentally hit some lines. Maybe that way they have to redo them. <laughs> Something. I don't know. I'll find a solution. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will be streaming on Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday's going to be a uh, Heather stream in Valheim Wednesday. Maybe we'll do a new game. Maybe we'll do uh, No Man's Sky. I don't know. We're going to see what happens with No Man's Sky. But we will be having a Wednesday stream. Unless my internet sucks. If my internet sucks, then maybe not. But I will see you guys uh, in the next one. And I'll see you guys over in APG's uh, channel. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just link his stream because YouTube doesn't like to uh, auto-kick you guys over to it. So let me uh, link you.
That way you guys can go with me if you want to. So the link is in the chat right now. Go over there. Have some fun. I want to hear, I want to see a whole bunch of suck at Jason's in the live chat. And I'll see you guys over at APG's channel.